the podcast. If you missed an hour, you go back and catch an hour. It's an awesome thing that uh, that iHeartRadio app. And then if you have a smart speaker, you say, smart speaker, play Real Radio 104.1 on iHeartRadio. It'll pop it on all over the world. And uh, we have a great YouTube channel, Real Radio Monsters on YouTube. I think you'll like that as well. A place to chat back and forth with folks is pretty cool. It's live talk radio, so it's interactive. You can also text me right now at 77031. People are already texting. little hint, when you text, uh, I see it, Angel sees it. Both Angel and I uh, get back at you throughout the show. And then on the YouTube channel, Ryan Holmes uh, interacts with people and talks to people back and forth, which is pretty cool. What's up? I'm Russ Rollins, host of the program. And with the fellas, we're doing this until 11 o'clock. Here's the producer of the Angel of Boom, Angel of Air. And the king of Denmark. Ryan Holmes. Yes. Uh, coming in, uh, scheduled to come in here in a little bit. The uh, wrestling phenom Amber Nova will be with us today. Uh, we're going to talk to Dwight Bain a little bit later on uh, about the effects of, uh, uh, of, you know, social media with uh, with kids. I want to talk to someone who's a counselor, and he's talked to a bunch of people about that, so we'll find out his perspective on that. And, uh, oh, yeah, and then later on, we're going to have Tommy Davidson on, and he, we're going to be able to let him know. I think he already knows uh, that he was inducted in the Hall of Fame, but we're going to get to tell him the whole, you know, how it all went down after he left and everybody was uprising, and I had to change the rules in order to get him, like, directly put in that, you know, that week, which has, you know, never happened before. What's funny about this today, our conversation with Tommy, is that he doesn't know he's talking to us yet until he gets on the air. Oh, really? Yeah. So, because he's doing the media run, because he's talking about uh, the new single that he just dropped off his album that we debuted here on Real Radio 104.1 Monsters in the Morning. Yeah, we played it before anybody else. Before anybody else. Uh, if you go back and listen to that particular show, you're going to hear him get emotional about it, and he yeah. was a bunch of love. And so, since then, he's, every time he's dropped another single, he's texted me it and uh, shared it with me, and he said, hey, if you get a chance, man, you know, so we'll be debuting that single but he's doing that media run so when we pop up on his screen for him yeah it's, he's gonna you know it's gonna find out it's us yeah so the media run, basically they sit in a room yeah. and they talk to a bunch of different radio stations around the country for 10 minutes that's why when you hear us talk to some uh, some of the celebrities and it's like for a short amount of time and we got to like go right off right. yeah and, it's, and, and yeah yeah it's a little off because they're, they're their phone or whatever uh, that's what the media run thing is and we've got a, a, a an organization that does those for us and they let us know and they're like hey do you, you, you want to talk to this person do you want to talk to that person and then i said do you want to talk? you know they were i got the email the other day i saw it yeah to talk to Tommy Davis? I said, yes we do yeah, that, yeah. that would be great because uh, uh i know that you've been in contact with him but I, I, we wanted to get him on the air and tell yeah, him no i didn't t- I, I hadn't said anything to him so oh, okay. he didn't hear it from me so like i said i thought this would be well, when i saw you book it and everything i was like oh this would be awesome because hopefully he doesn't know or if he does we you know we can tell him everything that happened that went down after that because we set precedent with him uh, yeah I, 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 I think i have it i, I actually made an addendum to the rules that, I, that I'll read <laughs> to him uh, that I've got. But uh, yeah, yeah, so that'd be kind of cool to have him. Oh, Friendly Ray Trendley will be with us today. Hadn't seen him in a while, so that'd be good to see him. Uh, sure. Man, so I'm sitting yesterday uh, and I'm watching, you know, I, I did, I, okay, I'll talk about this a little bit later, a little more in detail, but I did my, I did my second day. Chair yoga. Chair yoga. Uh, yoga. Okay, I'll tell you about that. And Chogan. then, and then, I, and then after that, I did more workout stuff. Like I did, I, I, I've added, you know, I'm doing the chair yoga, the 28 day challenge, and then I'm going to do more after that. So anyway, I did that. And it was, I was hot, I was sweaty, so I'm going to go jump in the pool, so I'm able to enjoy my pool now, which is so cool to be able to go any, anytime I want, and start watching the news uh, to see, okay, you know, making, you know, topics that we're going to talk about tomorrow, and it, it's a constant job, everybody, I know everybody thinks, oh, well, you got an easy job, yeah, us, but, in here. but I'm constantly trying to think of things to talk about tomorrow, that's he my... He watches so much Netflix, guys. Uh, well, I do, you're right, I watch <laughs> movies and shows, and, and I try to find, you know, maybe there's topics within those movies and shows, but as I'm watching the news, they're like, hey, and by the way, Mega Millions is tonight. And I'm like, oh, man, I didn't get my tickets. So it's about 5.30. I'm already in my – I'm already in my, my – You went at 5.30 in the afternoon to go make that lotto run? I'm in my underwear, you know, like my yeah. uh, half underwear, half uh, – you know, it's the it's like the underwear you wear under your workout clothes. Uh, your underwear sounds gross. Man. I know. Yeah, I know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That. I know, yeah. That's why I said it that way. Uh, and, and I'm like, well, you know what? Okay, I got a tank top on. I got like no one can tell that this is like underwear. It's, so I just put on my I just put on my oofas, jumped in the car, and ran down because it's it's the quickie mart, man. No, nobody cares what I look like, right? Uh, so I ran, you're a celebrity, right? Yeah, uh, you know what? You I wore, be going around in your Grundies. I, I did, and I wore my glasses, and that was fine. Uh, and and I run because because I, I had this, you know, it's the fear of missing out, yeah. right? Like if I don't buy a ticket, there's no way I can win. Nope. Right, right, right. So, Not at all. So so you know, and, and I'm like, man, I only have one night to dream. 
Uh, but uh, so I ran, I got my ticket, uh, and I wake up this morning, and somebody in New Jersey yeah. won a billion dollars. And I didn't buy mine in, Jer- in, Jer- in Jersey. I know. I, I hate when they tell you the city before I even get a chance to look at my my ticket. This is the one time I hate spoilers. True, Jersey. I'll, I'll be honest with you. Like I, I, I know I, I always rail against spoilers. Like, oh, relax. But, uh, but uh, you know, when I, I get up in the morning, turn on the news, and get ready to brush my teeth, and the first thing they say is somebody in New Jersey won the billion. So I'm like, okay, well, maybe I won a million. You never know because they said there were some other people that won a million dollars. Yep. Uh, the numbers are 7, 11, 22, 29, 38. And I got my ticket here. And somehow I don't have any of those numbers anywhere. Like, those are the numbers I don't have on uh, this uh, $20 ticket. Damn. Did yeah, you guys I got one. know? Do we rem- I- I'm sure we talked about it, but uh, do you know what state holds the single? Uh, Calif- hi- highest probably corrupt ass New Jersey, California S- Mega Millions winner. No, the biggest Mega Millions jackpot ever. Yeah, one point six, uh, one point six oh two billion. Yeah, was won on August the eighth of last year with a single winning ticket was sold in Florida. Oh wow! How did we miss that? I we didn't. It happened at the Publix. I'm I, mad about. Yeah, it. I think I remember it. They're right? Yeah, I think I remember it. How uh, do we? How do we not know who that? That person's a monster listener. God, I wish. They don't know that we, you know, y'all well, break look it up. They get a year, right, of anonymity, so we can find out now. I would, love to, uh, I would love to interview and talk to someone who wins like a billion dollars and just see what the, the the thought process is, what's the idea, you know, how smart they are about it. Have you set up your lair? Yeah, yeah. I would, <laughs> your moat? <laughs> I know for a fact I would not be smart about it. I would. <laughs> it's a billion dollars. You can waste all your, waste it any way you want. You know? Yeah, do what you want, baby. Uh, but I wouldn't tell anybody. No, That's where you make the mistake. You got too many. You got too many people that would come after you, and I'm just not. It doesn't seem like a good life. So, like, I like that there's a version of anonymity for like it's like six months or a year or something. You get out of town. What about the change pl- your name? What about the pleasure of just saying no to everybody? <laughs> what about I that? do that now. Look, look at it that way. I you already know, do that now. You know, just like mm-hmm. someone says, "Can I have uh, five hundred thousand dollars?" No. <laughs> no. <laughs> can I have a thousand bucks? No. You're selfish. <laughs> just, yeah, yeah, you don't you need don't that care. negative. Yeah, you don't need that negative energy, just, man. Just enjoy saying no. No, like I, I, I would. You'd be giving out money left and right. That that be gone in six months. I probably would give out money. I know, but uh, but uh, I would not keep. You it would a pay secret. people to be nice to you at the public. I know. For, I would rent out the public so I could shop by myself. <laughs> Price uh, would have his own public. Yeah. <laughs> no, I thought about this because I heard Dirty Jim uh, the other day, and Dirty Jim was saying he would buy real radio. And I thought about that. Why? And, and I'm like, well, you know, what if I just did this? Here's, here, I, this is how intense I was thinking about, right? What if I just go, listen, I'm not going to buy real radio. I'm just going to advertise a lot and tell you who I want you to hire. You know what I'm saying? Like, let's, like, like I'm going to, I'm going to, you know, advertise with the radio station and uh, I'm going to give you $500,000 uh, for this show. And, uh, and I want you to hire these people. Like, if, if money can, you can, you can, you know, yeah. Oh, yeah, it resolves um, all kinds of uh, situations, you yeah. know what I mean? So. I'm buying it and burning it down. Done. <laughs> Selling it to Dubai for parts. <laughs> Not Have me. Have a great day. Well, welcome to Red Radio 104.1 Dubai. Is yeah. best I wouldn't win all the, the pressures and everything. I would just mm. like, I would just advertise and tell you who I want you on, who I want on the air and who's not on the air. That's what I'd do. Anyway, that's, that's how I've thought, thought about it. But uh, uh, Not for nothing, but the radio station wouldn't be the first Orlando landmark that I would, uh, yeah. would purchase. What are you buying? Church Street. I'm buying the I-4 I saw it. I'm buying Church Street. Why? I'm buying Church Street. That thing's Street. got holes in it now. It's been un- I'm un-kept. buying Church Street, and I'm fixing it, Ryan. No. Yeah, you got a billion dollars. You can definitely yeah. do that. And it, it can be a hub. I remember. See, I don't know if you remember this, but I, I, I hearken back to that. Well, Russ was in the middle of that era, but I remember when Church Street was the spot for locals in downtown Orlando. Yeah, then Disney oh, was, killed it. Dude, yeah. I was right in the middle. It was the first thing I ever remember. It was uh, uh, was a Nickel Beer. Yeah. And Nickel Beer was the beginning of it. And it was like, let's go. Everybody's going downtown to go to Nickel Beer. They turned this uh, this old area into a place to go drinking. Rosie O'Grady's. Yep. It, it was a huge deal. I would bring back the can-can dancers. That would be the... And then the next thing I would buy is the building or the lot the uh, House of Babes used to be on and then bring that back. That's right <laughs> around your neighborhood, Ryan. <laughs> <laughs> the house of babes. You just want to make Orlando CD again? Yeah. Right. Oh, yeah. Monsters, make Orlando CD again. I love that. House of babes. Only, yeah. only, uh, only sweatpants allowed. And then I would bring back, um, who was it that got in trouble? I think the Predators got in trouble and uh, I'm trying to think who else. But all I would uh, do was would, I would buy inappropriate billboards 
up and down I floor that would just be like big giant breast and then just a message right there in the middle. I would, it, it, going with what you're saying, and, and I am 100% <laughs> no, serious. Not, 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 I, no, no, I would waste money like that. I would do ridiculous, <laughs> crazy, mm. like I'm a stupid redneck, uh, you know, like you know, a Batmobile for sure. You know, build my own bat cave. Uh, uh, yeah, I would uh, billboards. I would I would own real radio, but not have to pay. Like, you What's know, the saying? water park with the volcano? Oh yeah, the Volcano Bay. Volcano Bay. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I would. I would uh, basically what I would do is I'd buy that out for a year, right? And just let all the kids in, or, and all the kids in public schools. That would be the that like their uh, the place that they could go party. No, nope, well, I'm bringing back Water Mania. Oh, just as dangerous, oh. just as dirty. I'm, yes. bring, I'm bringing back Skull Kingdom with a big old <laughs> big old castle. They can just and, use your regular size head and, and a big big <laughs> castle, and I'll have a seat in the middle. There's like a, a king throne, and when everybody comes in, they just gotta wave at me. Yeah, that's what I would do. Oh. Anyway, these are the, oh, uh, I you know what? what I would bring back the little five hundred. There you go. Right there. But, it's still right there. No, no, no. I whoa, whoa. every day looking at that go, that could still be open. But you'd use Ferraris. Yeah. No, no. <laughs> uh, some, uh, in ridiculous uh, uh, go-karts. Uh, uh, refurbish the place. Make it like like add on like a second loop that's like, uh, you know, add a, le- a element of danger Put there. a jump in there. Yeah, yeah, that yeah. That jumps yeah. over four th- or 1792. Something like that. You yeah, know? I like it. Oh, yeah. I'm bringing back Mystery Funhouse. But the mystery <laughs> is, who is the murderer? <laughs> Goddamn. You're <laughs> This is the second day in a row you've been right to murder. Yeah, well, yeah, I told you I'm going to be an evil villain if I do this. So it'll be like, you know, add a little. So you want you want a thrill ride? The thrill is, are you going to make it out alive? Several of our, uh, I mean, look at our listeners. Uh, bring back Club Luana. Uh, rebuild <laughs> Booby, Booby Trap. trap. Yeah. Uh, you see where our listeners what, are Russ, what was that? Um... What was that amazing, amazing attraction that was downtown Orlando for a hot quick second, and it was the the horror place, the scary place? Yeah, Terror on Church uh, Street. Terror on Church Street. That, I'd bring that back. That's why I would do Skull Kingdom, Well, now though. that area is just legit scary oh, yeah. if you walk around at night, so Very they don't true. need to. Because Skull Kingdom was the same thing, but it was in that big castle that looked like a skull. That place was badass. I always thought that was more like a carnival kind of thing, like no. with the, the funky mirrors and stuff like that. Like, I didn't think it was actually scary inside. I never went inside it. I did. Uh, Savannah, yeah. Savannah and I went inside it one time, and it was, it was, it was one of those scary things and then it ended up with the with the uh, the mirror house and the whole thing. Yeah. It was a pretty cool gimmick, and uh, uh, they, they tore it down. But anyway, those are our dreams if we win. There you we, go. You know, so there well, you go there. Uh, just so you guys know, okay, so that was the Mega Millions. Powerball, if you want to get down with some, a little bit of Powerball action, the uh, Powerball is up to uh, $800 million. See, I've wasted $40 in the past week on gambling. Well, you ain't uh, trying to win. So I don't know if I'm going to be falling into this one. <laughs> can't win if you don't play, buddy. I know, but I, that's two two times in a row. If, 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 if I lose three times in a row, then I'll cure me for a little while until there's a next big run. Russ, next drawing is going to be Wednesday, yeah. March the 27th, which is today. Right, estimated jackpot is eight hundred and sixty-five million dollars for the Powerball. Powerball is a different game than Mega Millions, my friends. Uh, if you do the cash out, it's four hundred and sixteen point one million dollars. We have sixteen hours, forty-four minutes, twenty-nine, twenty-eight, twenty-seven seconds before you become a millionaire, Russ. All, right. All you got to do is buy a two-dollar ticket. I got to go get some cash today. <laughs> All right, we'll do that. All right, don't go anywhere. You're listening to the Monsters of the Morning. Real Radio is on X at Real Radio 1041, sponsored by the law offices of Anajar and Levine Accident Attorneys. Have you been in an accident? Call the law offices of Anajar and Levine at 1 800 747 free. That's 1 800 747 3733. From the Clausman Law Traffic Center, car crash, call Clausman Law. ClausmanLaw.com. On eastbound I-4, there's construction on the exit ramp to Sand Lake Road. Eastbound I-4 has an accident in the right lane of the exit ramp to State Road 535. We slow eastbound on I-4 from Orange Blossom Trail into just before Cayley Street because of a crash blocking three right lanes. And westbound I-4 has the right lane closed with construction approaching State Road 536. See traffic problems? Call the Valvoline Instant Oil Change traffic tip line at 866-676-8477. From the Traffic Center, I'm Daisy Ash. This report is sponsored by HCA Florida Osceola East Emergency. HCA Florida Castleberry Emergency, located at the intersection of U.S. Highway 17 and 92 and Dog Track Road in Castleberry, is now open 24-7. Visit HCAFloridaHealthcare.com to learn more. This emergency department is part of HCA Florida Lake Monroe Hospital. This is not an urgent care center. Its services are billed at hospital rates. Join us for our 2024 iHeartRadio Music Awards, live from the Dolby Theater in Hollywood. Monday, April 1st. Watch on Fox, starting at 8 p.m. And listen on the free iHeartRadio app. 
Tesla Apprentalast is a proud partner of the iHeartRadio Music Awards, a celebration of artists and the fans who got them there, the fans who make the music truly come alive through their energy and positive vibes. To the fans that make live music possible, we salute you. At Nissan, we make cars the thrill. Experience the thrill for yourself today. Shop NissanUSA.com. Hi, welcome to Ikea and our spring storage event. Oh, hi. Save big on storage with lots of new lower prices and limited time offers. Perfect. I'm making the winter to spring swap, and I have no idea where to put my sweaters and gloves. <laughs> we can help you get organized and store winter away. And we've got in-store events for more inspiration. Sign me up. Visit us in-store from 320 to 49 or at ikea-usa.com slash ikea spring storage for more details. Offer valid dates may vary. U.S. only while supplies last. Selection may vary by store and online. See store on ikea-usa.com slash ikea spring storage for complete terms. Restrictions apply. I'm getting vaccinated with Prevnar 20, a Pfizer vaccine. So am I, because I'm at risk for pneumococcal pneumonia. If you're 19 or older with chronic conditions like asthma, diabetes, COPD, or heart disease, or are 65 or older, you are at increased risk for pneumococcal pneumonia. Ask your doctor or pharmacist about Prevnar 20, pneumococcal 20-valent conjugate vaccine. It can help protect you against pneumococcal pneumonia in just one dose. Even if you've already been vaccinated with other pneumonia vaccines, Prevnar 20 may help provide added protection. Prevnar 20 is approved for adults to help prevent infections from 20 strains of the bacteria that cause pneumococcal pneumonia. Continued approval may depend on a supportive study. Don't get Prevnar 20 if you've had a severe allergic reaction to the vaccine or its ingredients. Adults with weakened immune systems may have a lower response to the vaccine. Side effects include pain and swelling at the injection site, fatigue, headache, muscle, and joint pain. For full prescribing information, please call 1-855-213-2138 or visit Prevnar20.com. Hey, let's get out of here. With Audible, we could root for a lone astronaut as he tries to save Earth from disaster. Maybe go for a run with the founder of the world's biggest sneaker brand. We could get the tea on the real-life media mogul succession drama. Or find out what life is really like for an Oscar-winning actress. I mean, with Audible, we could go anywhere. There's more to imagine when we listen. Hear the latest audiobooks, podcasts, and originals at audible.com want to win a free motorcycle, I'm Orlando attorney Mo DeWitt, and I'm giving away a free motorcycle valued up to $20,000. All you have to do is go to bikerswinorlando.com. That's bikerswinorlando.com. Enter today at bikerswinorlando.com. After more than four decades in the diamond business, International Diamond Center owner Keith LeClaire knows a thing or two about diamonds. And a big concern he has right now is the influx of man-made or lab-grown diamonds being sold at retail stores all over. Keith says these diamonds may look like the real thing, but they're being mass-produced and are losing value by the day. Why would you put your money in something that devalues faster than food you eat? Keith says they may look nice, but you can grossly overpay. For example, a man-made two-carat diamond costs next to nothing to produce. Uh, Two carat lab grown diamond will cost $320 today. But you'll see it in a store showcased with an insane markup. They're selling it for probably $2,000 to $8,000. Two years ago, it was in the $12,000 range, and today you're talking about a $320 diamond? Come on. Your mama didn't bring you up that way. If you're considering buying a lab grown or machine made diamond, get the facts before you write that check. Let the non commissioned experts at International Diamond Center help you discover real lasting value for Orlando locations. $5,000. That's the average amount of money people in the U.S. are now spending on gas in a year. Five grand. That's crazy. If you drive, you have to download Upside, the free app that gives you cash back every time you get gas. That's right. You can earn real cash back with Upside just by buying the gas you're already buying. You can literally start earning cash back today. I use Upside every time I fill up, and I've already made around two, $300. You're putting gas in your car anyway. Why not get real cash back? If you like free money, download Upside. I'm saving the cash I earn from using Upside to help pay for a vacation later this year. Download the free Upside app now to earn cash back every time you buy gas. Use promo code COOL to get an extra 25 cents per gallon on your first tank. You can cash out anytime right to your bank, PayPal, or a gift card for Amazon and other brands. Just download the free Upside app and use promo code COOL for a 25 cents per gallon bonus on your first tank. That's code COOL for a 25 cents per gallon bonus. The free iHeartRadio app has over 100 commercial-free stations waiting for you to explore right now, like Lost 80s, playing those songs you forgot you knew from the 80s. Gotta get back in time. The is a time. You better be good. Duran Duran, Huey Lewis. 
Davis, Tina Turner, and more, all commercial free. Just open the free iHeartRadio app, search Lost 80s, and listen now. iHeartRadio. Free? Never sounded so good. Do you have AC needs? Turn to the experts at Carrier. Go to millsair.com. service check it in uh <laughs> all the other things they want to bring back all these people like if they want to i billion, love it if they want a billion dollars of things they'd want to bring back to orlando or to central florida um uh someone said flea world yeah do you see where they're uh flea world in sanford they're trying to come up with uh you know the, all that property that's there they've been trying to develop that for quite some time right just been sitting there yeah and since do you know when do you think and i'm waiting for ryan to get back in here when do you think Sea World, I'm sitting on Sea World, Flea World, like, was done. Like, I, I, I was shocked when I saw this story yesterday. It's like, longer than what, what we think? Yeah. What year do you think that was the last year of Flea World in oh, San Oh, man. 2012. 2012? Well, what do you think, uh, uh, Angel? Uh, 2015. It was 15, yeah. yeah. I was really surprised. I was like, wow, it's been that long since Flea, because I, I just, I hadn't been over there in some time, and I just figured it was always there. I remember them shutting it down, and I remember that they were supposed to be developing that land, and I think the last couple times that I've driven by it, it didn't even dawn on me, it didn't hit me that that, that I was driving by what used to be Flea World. So, do, what do you think they want to do with that land? I, 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 Apartment the, complex? Human sacrifice? Yeah. A storage kind, facility? Kind of like over in Baldwin Park, kind of like a Baldwin Park over in the Sanford area. Think really? that, you think oh, that, so like uh, like fancy. Yeah. What do you think? Mm. <laughs> you know? Yeah, it's still Sanford. Yeah. Sanford's growing up, boys. Yeah, yeah I, but, I would. If you do that, it's, you're ruining what Sanford's become and it's trying to become. It's, 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 it's not supposed to be a Baldwin Park. Yeah. Uh, I mean, I'm, I, I'm like, I get it, and I understand, and, you know, uh, as every city, you want to increase your tax base and all that kind of stuff, but yeah. I wouldn't mind if, uh, you know, we just kind of, and again, not dissing any of the guys that work in that industry right now, because I know you guys listen to us all the time, but I wouldn't be... Uh, I wouldn't be opposed to a, a moratorium of just kind of pumping the brakes on all the development that's happening in the state. What, what about but, but Sanford, man? They could use, you know... I... I'm with Ryan on this. You start doing that, and you cross a threshold. Like yeah. Mount Dora is is awesome because they they vehemently they I mean they protect Mount Dora for what it is. They're not trying to be anything else. Yeah. You start doing. You start developing all these. That's the thing about this. You start developing all this property, and you start. You can't undo what you did. So okay. Mm-hmm. So we're going back to Angel's a billionaire, and 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 they the they come to you know billionaire Angel. And they're like, okay, we got this property. It used to be Flea World. What do you want to build here, Angel? I would make it a. Uh, I would do whatever I could to make it a public uh, park. Oh, like uh, just uh, That's take a big ass park. Uh, yeah. Uh, Perfect. I mean, we, we we don't have enough green spaces in in the places that are accessible to the people in the community. Like, you know, you got to kind of go out to remote areas to do some of that. Yeah. I would make it something like that. Okay. All right. I could see. I mean, yeah. There. Can we? And can we also just admit that, like, I mean, Baldwin Park's all right. Avalon Park is all right. But the, they're they're part of this thing called neo urbanism. Yeah. Which is like you're supposed they're they're supposed to be. In theory, they're supposed to be walkable neighborhoods where you're supposed to be able to like do all this, but it's not. It's right. just weird, spread out, far away nonsense. I always liked it over there. Though. It seems, it seems yeah, fancy. I, I, I got to admit, dude, I got a couple buddies of mine that work that live in uh, Baldwin Park and everything, and they love it. And they they use that public sets right there, and they like it's one of the few places where you will see people. You know, walking around in the neighborhood and everything, and 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 doing all that this kind is of. This America. We get in our cars and we drive <laughs> real far away and for I, everything. I don't know. Like I, I knew someone who lived there, and yeah. she had like it was a four story, like a four story. What do they call those? It's, townhouse. It was a like town- a t- townhouse. Yeah. yeah, and it was kind of cool. Uh, and and it was close to one of the bars, so I don't know. I, anyway, uh, maybe that doesn't work in in a pop. What would you do, Ryan, if you're going to take the flea? Where this is in the news mm-hmm. right now, they're they're discussing what they do with all that property across from the courthouse in Sanford, and it's where Flea World used to be. It's just been sitting there since uh, 2015. Uh, what what would you do with it? I would just rebuild Flea World. Flea World was dope. 
Uh, <laughs> you break Flea World? Yeah, I, well, there you go. That's another. Yeah, I mean, like fancy Flea World. Oh. Sure, fancied up a little bit. I guess make the hot dogs a little bit cleaner uh, <laughs> if you want. But like, I, dirty I, water I miss, dogs. Like I, that's that was how I used to spend like Saturdays, was just wandering around Flea World. I don't know what I'm leaving with. Could be a bird. Could be tinted windows. Could be Chinese off-brand Power Rangers, or maybe Ninja Stars. You know, was, yeah. awesome. I just went to Renegers not too long ago. There's a vinyl shop in there. It's the same way. And it, I, but it was so much fun like it literally yeah. like the i, 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 I had the is, girls with me and and so they their eyes were like this like what kind of place is this you, you know you went to flea world you could see an elephant you could get a puppy if you wanted to uh, yeah. like you could do you little, might uh, you go to you go to fun world and possibly die so dope <laughs> it's it seemed it seemed like it was always busy didn't it I mean, yeah, it was every time I, I went there it yeah. was like it's crowded. I don't understand how that thing got shut down. Well, well it's probably during the week stuff it was probably slow cuz uh, think about it most of the time they weren't we, open during the week. Oh, they weren't. Okay, I was just saying the weekends. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Uh, so but yeah, they they're trying to figure out what to do with that uh, property cuz it's just been sitting there for that long. And uh, I, I, I guess a park would be nice. You know what they you should mean, do? Like Central Park, kind of like our own Central Park. Is that what you make it? Something, yeah. Do something and celebrate build, Florida. You, you got to build up. There's got to be like play, I don't know places to eat or something. Like you can't just I don't you don't just rope it off and go. Hey, nature, take over. No, 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 no. I would try to, but I would also not, don't want to uh, hurt nature. So I would take you know the best parts of Florida, build it up, uh, have uh, some cool walkways, walkways, uh, okay. have yeah. some benches and everything. Okay, uh, right. maybe in the front of it play, have a, a situation where you could have you know food trucks come mm. in from time to time can we have a badass fountain you know like some sort of fountain that everybody can sit around uh, and i would at? want a natural i would want to uh, build or help create a natural occurring fountain i don't want to buy some giant big giant marble structure and uh, throw it in there i want a big marble structure marble this <laughs> i say what we do you, you get to decide this way what you do is you get a big old box like a, a huge box you fill it up with pennies and then whoever can guess how many pennies are in that box oh, I think panties. Gets, gets to decide what's built. I like, I think, I like I think Russ's panties. answer. I think, yeah. Or panties, whatever you want to do, baby. I used to do that at Flea World. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They the are, panties box? No, 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 the, the pennies, oh. the pennies. Damn, uh, I missed that one. They, they are trying to figure out what to do with that property right now. They're they're going back and forth with it. And um, and uh, there's a bunch of different people have different ideas. But I, I don't know what would be the best because you're right there at Sanford, which let's you be honest, force- Sanford has a renaissance, man. Sa- Sanford yeah. is is really looking but, good now. But yeah. also, let's be real, it's still Sanford. No, no, and and, and, and you're gonna and you don't want to end up with a Metro West situation where you just oh. try to fa- fa- fancy up a section of town that like has a lot more problems to it, and then you just end up with Metro and Russ, West. I, Metro West did end up being a, a busted. I would yeah. I would urge you, Russ, like li- listen to some of the citizens that live in Sanford. Yeah, right now there there is. A a, a struggle going on. There's people that live in Sanford that feel that there's too many events going yeah, on there. Yeah, too many parties. There, there, there's there's people, that one lady who used to be the mayor and she sucks. No, no. Well, I mean, that's one part, but there's also the people that are concerned with the, the just the unabashed growth of it. What's cool about Sanford was some of their, there is their old houses and stuff like that. Yeah, and you, you got to keep the old houses. Well, there's people that are coming in, you know, knocking those out and putting a brand new uh, house on, on these lots. No, they're, they're not allowed to do that. Yeah, they're, they're doing it. That's uh, what I'm telling you. As someone who used to live in one of those old houses, they're not that good. Tear them down. <laughs> they're they're all right. You what know, if, what money we, and renovation we had to throw into one of those things. It was ridiculous. What if the rule was you could build a new house, but it has to look like an old house? All like, right, like, do that. You know what I'm saying? Like you can build it new, but it's got to be well, like one of these I would approved be the plans. Worst and they business. Got, and, and they got to look <laughs> old. But build me a, a new old looking house. Yeah, yeah. you yeah. do the facade of it outside all old, but in, uh, yeah, inside it's nice. I bet you there's a company that does that. Oh, yeah. I, oh, I'm sure there yeah. is. Yeah, 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 yeah. Sanford, you're, 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 the, the people oh, that we're, complain, we're, I've seen their complaints, too. They're like, there's there's too many dog events in Sanford or whatever. No, I'm not talking about the social media stuff, dude. That's that's that's, that's, that's shooting fish in a barrel when you use that your arguments. The people that have genuinely live there and have been there for quite some time, I've got friends of mine that have been there for uh, 20 years, and they've seen this evolution, and we're talking about infrastructure. They haven't built up the roads. They to, can't even fix the roads around the lake Yeah, the, 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 the roads that haven't been brought up to you know to handle the amount of people that are coming in all right we've we fast forwarded to sanford we're going to go back now to uh to the, the thing that's actually people trying to uh, to figure out and that is that l- the land there at uh flea world uh, like what who votes who would vote is that seminole county uh there there is see uh, in the news story i saw last night or is it, there, or is a it... couple people there fighting about it seminole county yeah, seminole seminole county, county. Okay. 
And they were like, well, we got to do something with this. That's been sitting since 2015. Wow. And uh, I, was, I, I now agree with you that a Baldwin Park type thing maybe not be the right thing. You don't want uh, you don't want like a mall, right? You don't. No. Nobody goes to malls anymore. You don't want to. You don't want to. Uh, That's what I would do if I win. I won uh, the lottery. I would buy uh, Fashion Square and make it hot again. Anyway, I digress. What they should do with that property? <laughs> Angel just wants to live in the '90s, making Church Street and the and malls good. <laughs> it's a better time. Yeah, I say I don't know what to do with the light. Just light it on fire. See what happens. Well, that's just the, go for it. That's what it looks like now. Now, yeah. now it, looks it looks like, like hell, right? Yeah, it looks yeah. like it's all overrun. I guess there's rats over there. I mean, you know, it's, it's, it's nature taking over, and um, yeah. and, and yeah. something has to happen to it. So, because when you go to the courthouse in Stanford, that's what you see. You see the old, you know, the old property, uh, and there are people that are upset that nothing's happened to it. The developers don't know what to do. It takes a lot of money to develop things, though. Oh, I'm sure if you want to put it in a storage facility, though, there'd be a, a you know, yeah, uh, somebody ready to pay for that. What yeah, about, San, what, what about, about a Sanford U store? A theme yeah. park. What about a theme park? Oh, yeah, it was it was a Sanford theme park? A Sanford theme park. <laughs> what are you going to do, Methy Land? Methy Land. Yeah. It's, it's, hey, here's a ride where you just light an old tree on fire. Woo! A, a Sanford amphitheater where where the, you got, got country music all the time. So it just sounds like he wants to move the thing from a popka over there. A casino, yeah, <laughs> that is not going to happen. No, it won't happen. God, remember, remember when those like casinos were like throwing up in shopping malls for, or just like strip malls for a second? Like all of a sudden there was like these digital casinos everywhere. Yeah, those are, the, those are they're still out there. They're still around. Yeah, yeah, they had one. They had one that they built next to Gators Dockside in a popka one time, and it was there for a while. And boy, oh boy, did that change a neighborhood. I don't know uh, how yeah. those things exist, but they do. And, uh, like, I haven't seen – well, there used to be one – actually, dude, there's one kind of where you live. Man. By it, the B-dubs. Is there? Yeah. I'm going gambling. We, that, we got all these We got all these ideas are great ideas, you know, like uh, – you know, like, Let's build another dog a, track a, there. A, a dog track. We got yeah. uh, all these other ideas. Someone said uh, affordable housing for the poor. <laughs> like, no. Like, you know, you, you know, that just brings down – I mean, I'm sorry. I know people need affordable housing, but it just brings down – How about the just the property afford, value. Uh, And uh, let's put it this way. Again. <laughs> let's be honest. Uh, no. Let's, uh, uh, affordable housing would be huge. Yeah. It would be uh, – again, yeah. you're, you're thinking Section 8 kind of housing <laughs> – I'm thinking for regular people, your first starter home, that kind of stuff. That doesn't exist anymore. Well, the average uh, price for a home in Orange County trying to get into it is over $500,000, Russ. The, the days of buying a $250,000 home or a $300,000 home and building, that doesn't exist for the first home, uh, first time home buyer. Just doesn't. So that would be that would be that would be huge. You got housing for first time home buyers, you help them build that, you help them get to the American dream. That would be that would that would be the only if we were going to do a, a housing kind of thing, that would be the thing that I would think of. Even more than stripper world, you wouldn't want that. Okay, so that's a really hard <laughs> argument to have because like I I was going to say that earlier. Remember when we were promised this bill of goods that the, we, yeah. that Central Florida was going to have or at least Orange County was going I don't know if you ever remember this Ryan. We were going to have this red light district area quote unquote, right? And they were going to supposedly move all the adult entertainment clubs to this industrial part of Orange County, and that's where everybody could go so they wouldn't shut them all down. Isn't yeah. that where the good Rachel's is now? <laughs> the good Rachel's? There's like a big Rachel's over by the airport. Yeah, but, yeah, yeah, yeah. but I don't think those... I don't think the one that one and the one in Castleberry are actually uh, connected uh, just by name. I don't think they're... Mm. But I don't know if that I, I don't know if that was the area. I thought that it was, was nice. Fern Park, make Fern Park great again with your Circus Circus, Club <laughs> Juana, Rachel's House of Babes, House of Babes. Remember those days? And that was a fun childhood for me growing up <laughs> down the street from a Circus Circus. That Circus Circus thing was. If there was, a, don't know if you've never you know you've never been in or you weren't in Orlando at that time. It was a a strip club, but on the outside, yeah, yeah. the it all literally the, <laughs> all the painting on the outside. It was like elephants in the circus. Yeah, the horses. It was horses. Yeah. It was like, and when you're a kid, you're like, I want to go into Circus World. Yeah, <laughs> you know, I want to go into Circus Circus. It looks great. I wonder. My grandma died. It was that's the only time I ever went in there. I was real sad and my grandma passed away and I'm just like it's just me going into Circus Circus on like a Tuesday night. Oh, wow. I know what that, that is horrible. Like. 
horrible. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. The you ever get a lap dance while crying? It's weird. <laughs> and the stripper's the one not doing it? That's me, man. You what get a couple free ones if you tell them your grandma's dead. Uh, they're closed now, but that's true. That was the first place I went into, and, and I remember standing, because this is back in the, when the radio Why? station first started, <laughs> and when the radio station first started, all these strip clubs wanted to come bring people into the Russ and Bo show, right? Like, mm. So they wanted to bring their strippers in. So we, me, me and Bo had a big meeting at Circus Circus <laughs> to go talk to the manager, right? So we go to this big meeting, and all these dudes are coming in, and they got on their sweatpants. And I'm like, Bo, what the hell they got on? So, and he's like, you don't know why they have sweatpants on. I'm like, no. And then they'd sit down, and then you'd see the girls do a special turnaround dance. And I'm like, oh, that's why they have on sweatpants. And then he couldn't pants. stop staring. And, and no, I, I got out of there. I had to get you go, out of You here. go to a strip club, and you look at men's pants? Okay, I'll explain to you during the break what happened. Uh, I understand what happens, uh, okay. but I'm not looking at dude pants. Well, every dude was wearing sweatpants, and it wasn't a time to wear sweatpants. We weren't going I, to wrestling practice. I couldn't even tell you what any other man is wearing ever at a strip club. Oh, you're more manly than me, I yeah, guess. I'm just not looking there. All right, don't go anywhere. You're listening to the Mops <laughs> of the Morning. Something on your mind? Text us at 77031. Standard data and message rates apply. Real Mobile is powered by Orange Buick GMC and orangebuickgmc.com. We are professional grade. Here's what's trending from the iHeart Sports Network, presented by DraftKings Fantasy. The Magic are back in action tonight, hosting Steph Curry and the Warriors. Golden State last night won in Miami. NFL owners meeting in Orlando have approved changing the kickoff. Our water that leaves no sticky, soapy chemical residue at all. They bring their own water with them. The ZR water cleans everything better, and it dries faster, and it's safer for kids and for pets. We got the new puppy. We didn't want, you know, puppy licks the floor sometimes like a moron. Like, we, we didn't want the puppy licking the floor and getting chemicals, uh, so that's why we use ZR. Res. So glad that we did. Mention my name. You'll get 20% off the tile and the grout cleaning. The grout cleaning is important. It, may, it really makes it look awesome. It's that little extra touch that is great. It's zero res. The, uh, the carpet, like in your room, if you have one room that's got carpeting, $49 per room. Zero res. They clean everything great. Great for spring cleaning. All you got to do is go to OrlandoZeroRes.com. That's OrlandoZeroRes.com. You know what? They support the monsters. They support the show. Support people that support us. We would appreciate that. So would Zero Res. It's OrlandoZeroRes.com. Zero Res, spelled forwards or backwards. It's the right way to clean. For more information about contests on this station, go to RealRadio.fm slash rules. Sneezing, coughing, uh, stuffy nose, runny nose, post-nasal drip, interrupted sleeping. I just I was groggy at the end of the day. Allergies and sinus congestion were making Jana miserable. Then a friend recommended Navage. Navage provides immediate drug-free congestion relief, flushing your nasal passages with refreshing saline and sucking out mucus germs and other airborne irritants. Navage helps you breathe easier, sleep better, and feel your best right away. Navaj gave me instant relief. I didn't have to wait 30 minutes. I didn't have to wait an hour, 90 minutes. I didn't have to wait. I didn't have to wait a minute. I just, I ran the rinse and I felt immediately, I felt better. Stop suffering from congestion and start breathing and feeling your best again with Navaj. N-A-V-A-G-E. I've had people ask me how I find relief, and I tell them Navage immediately. This thing is amazing. Navage is available at Navage.com or at Walmart, Walgreens, CVS, and Rite Aid. Are you a victim of the timeshare trap and think there's no way out? I'm Chuck McDowell, founder of Wesley Financial Group, the original timeshare cancellation expert. And I'm here to tell you that there is a way out. All you need to do is give my office a call. I will send you a timeshare exit information kit absolutely free, explaining how the timeshare industry works and your options for cancellation. Call Wesley now for your free info kit, 800-522-5700, 800-522-5700. Pizza's here. Oh, great. I'd love some, but I'm worried about my stomach issues. If you're worried about having diarrhea, gas, bloating, stomach pain, or loose oily stools, it may not just be stomach issues. It could be a condition called exocrine pancreatic insufficiency, or EPI. With EPI, the pancreas doesn't release enough enzymes to break down food, but EPI is manageable. Use the symptom checker on identifyepi.com and talk to your doctor. That's identifyepi.com. Sponsored by AbbVie.
If it's time for you to get some new windows, reach out to Mike the Home Builder and his team of professionals at the Home Builders Network. Let me tell you what you will get when Mike takes care of you. Great quality windows, great installation, and great service, all for a fair price. What you won't get is a window company that moves into your house for three hours when they come in for the free estimate, pressuring you for the sale. Use someone local, someone you can trust. Go to myhomebuildersnetwork.com. In this week's Marketer's Report, Dana Nussbaum, Executive Vice President, Worldwide Marketing at Warner Brothers Discovery, weighs in on regional audio marketing and the movies. Everything that we are doing is incredibly data-driven. We are getting signals in every single day about how specific audiences are performing. So although we're marketing at a very broad scale, and that does include specific local markets, that's really the beauty of iHeart's network. You're not serving the same message to a consumer in Nashville necessarily that you may be in New York. You have the ability to be very specific and very personalized, but at a tremendous scale. As the number one audio company, iHeartMedia gives marketers access to all, from national to local, every audience, live conversations, trusted influencers, and the insights and data you need to grow. Not just a media company, iHeartMedia is your access company. If you're a marketer, go to iHeartResults.com. Spring has sprung for the used car market, and that means full tilt boogie time, baby, at GiveMeTheVin.com. Looking to sell your car, truck, or SUV? GiveMeTheVin.com makes selling your vehicle fast and easy. GiveMeTheVin.com is A-plus rated by the Better Business Bureau. They offer a 60-second bid process, pressure-free service, and a free pickup. Just click on GiveMeTheVin.com and get your check on the spot. Sell us your car. GiveMeTheVin.com. So easy you can do it. Seminole Hard Rock Tampa is excited to bring you live craps, roulette, and sports betting. All under one roof, hotter than the Florida sun. Feel the luck of the dice. Watch the roulette wheel spin and scream for your touchdown as the big screen comes alive. Dine like a rock star. Sip cocktails that shimmer. Then dive into the heart of Las Vegas right here in Tampa Bay. Live craps, roulette, sports betting is here. Get in on the action now. Only at Seminole Hard Rock Hotel and Casino Tampa. Located off of I-4 near I-75. Gambling problem? Call 1-888-ADMINUTE. Hello, America. It's Ted from Consumer Cellular, the guy in the orange sweater, and this is your wake-up call. If you don't have Consumer Cellular yet, now is the perfect time to switch and save. For a limited time, new customers can get wireless service for as low as $15 a month for your first year. Yep, the same exact nationwide coverage as the leading carriers for $15 a month for an entire year. What are you waiting for? Call 1-888-FREEDOM or visit ConsumerCellular.com and use code RADIO15. See ConsumerCellular.com slash FIRSTYEAR15 for promotional details. Welcome back to the Monsters Mornings. We're Radio 104.1, broadcasting live on iHeartRadio. Remember, the iHeartRadio app is pretty awesome. You can listen to us live on the app. You can leave a message by clicking on the microphone. And if you have a smart speaker, you can tell any smart speaker, hey, smart speaker, turn on Real Radio 104.1 on iHeartRadio, and it'll pop it on for you. What's up? I'm Russ with uh, Angel and Ryan and Amber Nova here with us today. Amber Nova, how you doing? What's up? I'm uh, feeling hot. Coming back from a long wrestling weekend trip. Yeah. Tell you all about it. We gotta, we gotta uh, put that chair down for you, huh? Because you're, 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 you're. Am I too? I am like. You're, you're bending over. Uh, uh, <laughs> I gotta get the outfit on the camera. Yeah. Though. Well, yeah. That's true. We'll get the, we'll get the microphone up closer to your face. That, uh, that, okay. that, that sounds good. Uh, you, Got it. You're all dressed up. Look at you. All, I mean, fa- all fancied up. Am I not always fancied up? You are pretty much always fancied up. Yeah, you yeah. come in fancy. That's good. It's nice when people come in dressed. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> dressed is good. Uh, okay, so I, okay, so Amber, I know you being a professional wrestler, this is going to be ridiculous to you. Uh, so I, you know, I say this, uh, you know, knowing that you're going to scoff at it, but uh, I've been doing this. Uh, I've been. This is day. Was it day two? I guess it was just day two. Uh, you told us about Monday. Monday? Yeah, and t- t- you say it was two, Tuesday. Today was Tuesday, so, so it, it you're was, two days in. It was only day two. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And it's this thing that I found on uh, on Facebook, and it's the 28-day yoga challenge. And I know that sounds ridiculous, uh, but uh, but I'm like, ah, I'm going to do it anyway, and then at least it'll get me you know, out there, and then I can work out afterwards. Because the yoga challenge can't be that hard. I mean, it's just yoga in a chair, and, and it's for people. Like, and the one I've got is like for people over 50 years old. So it's like, okay, this is going to be easy, right? Uh, yoga challenge. 
pounds. Uh, no, 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 no big deal. First day I do it, I'm like, whew, about 10, 10 minutes into it, I'm like, man, this is harder than I, because mm-hmm. I'm, because mm-hmm. they're not, sweating like a pig. Uh-huh. Here's what they do, Angel. They don't make you work out the muscles that you normally work out. It's not like I'm doing bite, you know, uh, you know, bicep. I'm not benching. I, I yeah. develop my chest. It's stupid little things that you do for a long period they're of time. They're not stupid, Russ. And, and it's like, so yesterday. You're waxing on and waxing off. I do this second one, the second day of it, and I get to the, uh, like halfway in once again. In, five minutes in, and I'm thinking to myself, Ryan Holmes mm. couldn't do this. I, I know he's going to scoff, and he's going to say this scoff, is, scoff, but, scoff, but the, scoff, 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 scoff. Th- this second day, there's no way you could get through the whole ten minutes and do exactly what this old man does in the video. Uh, I absolutely can. Th- there's this one thing where where you, you got to okay, you sit in a chair and you put your leg out straight and you just kind of go around in circle. Yeah, now, that sounds easy, right? Yeah, yeah. Do you do that for a minute, and then you got to do it for a minute the other way. Now the first. Oh no. The, okay, you, I, <laughs> I know you say no big deal, and I, and I think to my head, no big deal. This is dumb. This old man is just uh, making his leg go around. I in like circles. how you phrase that. I think to my head. I do. No, not in my head. <laughs> no. You think to your head. Yeah, I think to my head. I'm like, well, there's there's no. This looks so easy. It's not that easy. Uh, and you and, and so as I'm going back the other way, I'm like. I, I know Ryan Holmes couldn't do this, but it was it was once again a little tougher than I thought. Now, what I do is is I do my full ten minutes of uh, of chair yoga, and then I feel like okay, now I got to do some manly stuff to, to wash off because <laughs> I've been doing this lame old workout that yeah. I don't think Ryan could do. But on uh, top of that, I'm gonna get my masculinity on. Yeah, yeah, I, yeah, I couldn't do like I couldn't do it all, but I'm like I got to do some tough man things to wash off the the chair yoga I just did mm. to embarrass myself. But I'm gonna get through twenty eight days and uh and, wait what are the tough man things that you did afterwards oh okay well i think thank Make you for out asking bow? No, <laughs> i got one of those step bow and there's a uh, step you know where you uh, step things and i put it up on the highest thing and then i had 25 treadmill no 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 it's just a step you know like okay uh, okay okay, yeah. okay. Gotcha, and, gotcha. and then i had two oh the manly thing of steps. stepping yeah yeah okay it's smart ass uh, and then i had two <laughs> uh, then i had two so tw- 25 pound weights and every oh, time 25, I would, huh? and every time i would step up i would do two curls step down and I did that uh, 60 times. So you're stepping up, curl, curl, thrust, down? What a, uh, yeah. Step up, no, two curl, curl. curl. Not, not curl, curl, but uh, curl. And then thrust? And then go back down. And then step and go back down. And you step gotta step and work go. out those hip flexors, mm-hmm. buddy. You gotta, I get the, you gotta add that thrust in. I'll add that in. I didn't <laughs> do that yesterday. <laughs> yeah. it was Why don't you just, just give up and get some pool weights? No. Oh, yeah. Come on. You got <laughs> the pool. You love being in there. You no, might it's well nice and the... warm. Yeah. 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 But I did get. I did jump in the pool afterwards because I would worked up. Uh, I, I'd gotten a uh, good. Did sweaty. you shower first? But, uh, no, no. I just jumped in the pool. Oh, I... you can't do that. It's, it's bad for your. It's, it's pool. Pool. bad for your pH and your chlorine. Uh, yeah, I got you your probably pH should. Right here. You know, wash <laughs> the sweat off. Alrighty then. Yeah. You guys. Uh, yeah, you're definitely it's gonna be very to sh- beneficial. Shower before you go in the pool. What the yoga? Yes, I'm looking forward to what you're gonna say in the next twenty. What is it now? Well, yeah, six days. 26, got, days, yeah. 26 yeah. days to go. So yeah. I actually did um, He's just a hot trying yoga to put class his own in his own. yesterday morning yeah. at Orlando Power Yoga. Oh, uh, yeah, you're doing um, power. Well, you're a professional wrestler. 75 minutes of just pure, hot, sweaty breathing yeah. in a yeah, hot yeah, room, yeah. Keep keep puddles going. of sweat. But you're, yeah, I mean, you're, you're, it's a good workout. You're an elite, you're an elite athlete. You right? know what? What? Ryan, you should come with me to a hot yoga class sometime. Let's see if you can handle yeah, it. Yeah, Ryan. You're going to yeah, talk Ryan. Ryan. about wheelchair yoga. Come to a hot yeah. yoga. Oh, you should come to wheelchair yoga. <laughs> it's not <laughs> wheelchair yoga. You're doing wheelchair <laughs> yoga. Wheelchair <laughs> yoga. It's chair yoga. i got to tell you what. <laughs> this 10 minutes, this second day 10 minutes, I guarantee you, it will set you up in a chair over here, you can't do it. Can Let's you, do you it. can and will? Uh, well, how much you got? With you, 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 you got his you, lottery you, ticket. I haven't you, checked yet. You want to bet on that? You think you can keep up with this guy? <laughs> you, you can keep up with this guy and do all ten minutes with this dude? Yeah, no, Russ. I believe I can't keep up with an old man sitting in a chair. What? That's ridiculous. You got twenty bucks on it? I got twenty bucks on it. And, and, and can I? And so I won't be the judge. Mm-hmm. I won't be the judge. Amber Nova will be the judge because mm-hmm. uh, she's an impartial judge, mm-hmm. right? Right. Mm-hmm. So and so she can she can uh, you know watch to make sure you're doing exactly what this guy's doing because that means like as he's as he's as he's uh, twirling his leg around, you got to twirl your leg around with him, and then when he reverses and goes the other way, you can't put your leg. Oh down. no, I can't do the dreaded reverse twirl. <laughs> 
Oh my God. I hope you fall out of this chair. <laughs> Ryan, I know it sounds simple. I know it sounds it dumb. I it know does. it. I get it. But I'm telling you, it's, t- it, it's, it's using muscles you don't ever really use. Mm-hmm. You don't know so- what muscles I use. I use all my muscles. I use special muscles that you don't even got. You know, Russ, I don't know if you're the validation that you're looking for. If you're trying to get Ryan to do this so that it makes you look good. No, I'm not. No, 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 no. I want to prove to him it's harder than it. I, can listen. I, got I know it sounds wimpy. I get it. No, yeah. it's not. I know the only these person muscles... that keeps saying that is you. <laughs> well, in my no, head. I agree with Russ. I know how hard. <laughs> I agree it's wimpy. No, I agree that. It's yoga is very difficult. You're using all these muscles, like he said, that you don't normally activate, especially yeah. in your legs. It's it's a lot different than what people think. It is. It is. It is. It is. It, all right. So I'm gonna keep up with it. But uh, that's uh, day two of my chair. Did you send that yoga app show. information over to Barb? <laughs> I did. So, did. so, so, me so and you and Barb, Barb are doing the same this. workout. Yeah. Know. It sounds so bad. <laughs> I know it sounds bad. I know it sounds bad. I get it. But it's harder. Than, and you're shaking your head. You're doing nothing over there, Ryan Holmes. I, I, I do actual workouts, Russ. Yeah, I go I, to a bodybuilder I, gym. Oh. It's got the word iron in the name of it. That's oh. how I know it's badass. And, and he's the he's the most in shape guy on the show. Show too, Russ. Yeah. My ass. What prizes do we have in the prize? He's in a chair doing yoga. <laughs> Today's prize for Yana is brought to you by our great friends over there at Cento Family Moving and Storage. You find yourself in a pinch, you find yourself that you need to go move, hit them up. It's Felipe and his crew over there at Cento. Get a quote today at CentoMoving.com. That's C E N T O Moving.com. They are Central Florida's trusted source for local and long distance moving services. From packing to delivery, Cento Moving is fully licensed and insured to provide you a seamless moving experience. Get a quote today. Visit the website. They offer a plenty of other services as well. That is C-E-N-T-O-Moving.com. Cento Family Moving Stores. Forget the stress and move with the best. Russ, in today's Price Pinata, up first, we have a pair of tickets to Orlando City FC versus the New York Red Bulls this Saturday, March 30th at Inter and Co. Stadium. We got a pair of tickets for that. And then we also have... Uh, we mm-hmm. went the wrong way here. Mm-hmm. Sorry, one second. No, take your time. Today is Wednesday, right? Today is Wednesday. All right. And we have a pair of tickets. Why is it doing this? Hold on a second, dude. There we go. A pair of tickets to see Stone Temple Pilots and live the Jubilee Tour with special guest Soul Asylum. And that's August the 28th at Mid-Florida Credit Union Amphitheater in Tampa. Tickets are on sale right now. Those are the prizes in today's prize pinata, Russ. That's your jam, right? A Soul Asylum? Oh yeah, bro. But they don't—they sing the song wrong. But other than that, great band. All right. Uh, when we come back, it is trivia time. Uh, any chance to get on the line? The telephone number is 407-916-1041. If you win trivia, not only do you get a great prize, we get to learn a little bit about you, find out how long you listen to the show, find out what you want to plug and promote, talk about your job. Uh, it'll be great. So get on the line. 407-916-1041. We'll do that when we come back. You're listening to the Monsters of the Morning. It's like a text message with your voice. The talkback feature on the free iHeartRadio app. Follow Real Radio 104.1, tap the microphone, and speak. From the Clausman Law Traffic Center, car crash, call Clausman Law. ClausmanLaw.com. Eastbound I-4 is very slow from before U.S. 27 to State Road 429. Have a crash in the left lane of the exit ramp from eastbound I-4 to State Road 535. And eastbound I-4 is bumper to bumper from John Young Parkway to just before Cayley Street. We had a hazmat crash with three right lanes blocked. Traffic is squeezing by in the left lane. We also slow northbound on 1792 from Kinney Harmon Road to Osceola Polk Line Road. See traffic problems? Call the Valvoline Instant Oil Change traffic tip line at 866-676-8477. From the Traffic Center, I'm Daisy Ash. This report is sponsored by HCA Florida Osceola East Emergency. HCA Florida Castleberry Emergency, located at the intersection of U.S. Highway 17 and 92 and Dog Track Road in Castleberry, is now open 24-7. Visit HCAFloridaHealthcare.com to learn more. This emergency department is part of HCA Florida Lake Monroe Hospital. This is not an urgent care center. Its services are billed at hospital rates. Did you know that your largest investment asset might not be your retirement account or home? I'm Jay Jackson, CEO of Abacus Life. Most people don't realize that their life insurance policy is actually an asset they can sell. But for almost 20 years, Abacus has been purchasing life insurance policies from seniors just like you. We've even created a free policy value calculator at abacuspays.com so you can find out in seconds what we might pay for your policy. There are no fees and no obligations, just information. 
Knowing the value of your life insurance policy is as important as knowing the value of your home, your equity portfolio, or your finances in total. Discover the valuable information you need to understand the current market value for your life insurance, and then get real value from your life insurance when you need it with Abacus. Visit abacuspays.com to learn more and use our free policy value calculator today. Frank Gay has something cool for you. Keep your AC running smoothly with a tune-up for only $89 for a limited time. Friendly, speedy, and expert service. That's the Frank Gay way. Visit frankgayservices.com or call for details. When you buy a diamond at International Diamond Center, you can bring it back a year from now, trade it up to a bigger one, and get 110% of your original purchase price toward the new diamond. You pay me $10,000 for my diamond. When you come back and you want to trade it up, you're going to get that $10,000. Plus, we're going to give you a bonus of $1,000. IDC owner Keith LeClaire talking about IDC's industry-leading diamond trade-up policy. So you're getting 110% on what you paid for that diamond. Who else does this? I'm going to pay you more for that diamond than you paid me in the beginning. The 110% upgrade is just another thing that separates IDC from the rest. We stand behind what we sell. We know what we're selling, we believe in what we're selling, and we know the inherent value of that diamond. At IDC, your trust means everything. We want you to feel that you can buy with confidence. International Diamond Center. Highest quality, insane selection, guaranteed best value, full transparency, and the strongest consumer protection warranties in the industry. Our job is to keep you as a customer. International Diamond Center. For Orlando locations. Hey, baseball fans, did you know that Fubo has the most MLB games you can get without cable? That's right. Only Fubo has the broadcast networks and regional networks you need to watch your home team all year long. Out of market? Don't worry. Fubo has MLB TV, too. Watch on all your devices at home and on the go. Baseball season is finally here. Get Fubo today. Start streaming FuboTV.com. That's F-U-B-O-T-V.com. Are you a victim of the timeshare trap and think there's no way out? I'm Chuck McDowell, founder of Wesley Financial Group, the original timeshare cancellation expert. And I'm here to tell you that there is a way out. All you need to do is give my office a call. I will send you a timeshare exit information kit absolutely free explaining how the timeshare industry works and your options for cancellation. Call Wesley now for your free info kit. 800-522-5700. 800-522-5700. Embark on a journey through the most absurd moments of the human story with Ridiculous History, the podcast that explores the bizarre corners of human existence, like the evolution of the toilet, the story of Comic Sans, or the exploits of the notorious Aaron Burr. Aaron Burr is like, one day, my life is going to be part of a musical. However, though, he probably didn't necessarily at this point think that he was going to be the villain. Listen to Ridiculous History on the iHeartRadio app or wherever you get your podcasts. This weather report is brought to you by Mills Air. Good morning and happy Wednesday. I'm Fox 35 Storm Team Meteorologist Jessica Dobson with a check of your forecast. And for today, we'll expect some increasing shower and thunderstorm chances, mainly during the afternoon hours and especially for our northernmost counties. Temperatures will be on the warm side as well, warming into the low and mid 80s for highs. As we look ahead towards tomorrow, a cold front arrives, keeping those rain and storm chances around over the course of late Thursday morning and into Thursday afternoon. From the Fox 35 Storm Team, I'm meteorologist Jessica Dobson. This report is sponsored by HCA Florida Osceola East Emergency. HCA Florida Castleberry Emergency, located at the intersection of U.S. Highway 17 and 92 and Dog Track Road in Castleberry, is now open 24-7. Visit HCAFloridaHealthcare.com to learn more. This emergency department is part of HCA Florida Lake Monroe Hospital. This is not an urgent care center. Its services are billed at hospital rates. We are professional grade at Orange Buick GMC. Online at OrangeBuickGMC.com. Broadcasting live from the injury law firm of Kaufman and Lynn Studio. Why Kaufman and Lind? Because you matter. Contact them at whenyouneedus.com or dial pound 546 on your cell phone. This is WTKS FM HD1 Cocoa Beach, Orlando. Listen on your free iHeartRadio app for all your music, radio, and podcasts. All rise. Making his way to the ring. From Orlando, Florida, Triple R, Russ Ray Rollins! Triple R 
7 at 7 brought to you by HBNUSA.com. That's Home Builder Network, USA.com. For years now, you heard me talk about Mike the Home Builder. Great guy. He does an incredible job. He can uh, patch your roof if you have a leak. If you need an entire new roof, he can do that. He does windows and he does doors. He also does the gutters and repl- like the covers that go in the gutters, which is great. He did that for my house. They custom make those for your house. Uh, he can do all those things, and he does a great job. Quality work, great installation, excellent service all the time. Uh, if you need a, you know, someone to come out and give you an estimate, it'll be Mike himself. Mike the Home Builder, great dude. HBNUSA.com. It's a free estimate. HBNUSA.com. Mike, the home builder, home builders network, HBNUSA.com. Thank you, Mike. Appreciate it, buddy. So it's trivia time. I see the lines have been packed. Who do we have up on first? Angel. Amber Nova, what's your favorite number between one and five? Two. Russ, we got Craig from Cocoa Beach. Craig, how you doing, buddy? Doing good, Russ. How you doing? I am great today, man. I got a trivia question for you, and if you get it right, then you're the king, King Craig. You get to plug and promote whatever's important to you, uh, and, uh, right. and and you get the prize and all that kind of good stuff. If you don't get it right, don't worry, because you got three people that can uh, get it right for you, can help you out, like a lifeline. You got Amber Nova, you got Angel, and you got uh, Ryan Holmes, okay? How many prizes? All right, sounds good. How many prizes did we have, uh, Angel? Uh, 300. <laughs> we had two. We, we had, had two. Uh, uh, Stone Temple Pilot tickets Carol. and the Orlando City. All right, I'm going to tell you this right now. If you if you don't get it right and you have to pick somebody to help you and you pick Amber Nova and she gets it right for you, we'll give you two prizes. And I say that thinking she might know the answer to this because this kind of music's in her wheelhouse. Like, I know she likes this kind of music, but I don't know if she's going to know the answer to this question or not, uh, just so you know. Uh, all right, so, so you get two prizes if you pick Amber Nova. Are you ready, Craig? Okay, ready. All right. 37 years ago today, this made national news. In 1987, in South River, New Jersey, a high school student was suspended for wearing a T-shirt to school. The T-shirt said, to hell with the devil. What was the name of the band that that was promoting? Oh, wow. Uh I don't know, like Twisted Sister, maybe? Twisted Sister is incorrect. Who do you want to help? Do you want Ryan Uh Holmes? Do you want Angel Rivera? Or do you want Amber Nova for double prizes if she knows it? Let's go for it all. Amber Nova. You fool. You're a fool. You're you're going Amber (laughs) Nova. Amber Nova. Now, this is the kind of music you like, Amber, but I don't know. 37 years ago today, this made national news. In 1987, in South River, New Jersey, a high school student was suspended for wearing a T-shirt to school that said, to hell with the devil. What band was it promoting? I'm torn between a few different bands I'm thinking of right now. Uh-huh. Oh, I want to hear all of them. Yeah, yeah. If you get this, I... Can I just start naming a few off? Well, you got to... Uh, well, you can yeah. work with your partner. You can, you can work with Craig. Yeah, yeah, work with Craig, but you got to get... All right, band. Craig, Craig. Uh, d- do you think it might be a band that start has four letters in it and a lightning bolt? <laughs> well, you can say it. You can say the band. You're yeah. working it. You're working this out with oh, Craig. You're not doing right, a Craig, secondary Craig. trivia question. Yeah. For- All right, Craig, Craig. How about this, Craig? I'm gonna name some bands. I'm gonna let you make the ultimate decision. No, you make the ultimate you decision. You make the decision. But, no. but he, you tell him. Yeah, say. Tell, what, tell him what you're thinking. <laughs> tell him what you're thinking. <laughs> All right, I'm thinking. All right, you said the devil what? Re- re- one more time? To hell with the devil. To hell with the devil. You said the devil is in the details? <laughs> and, and he was suspended, made national news. So this kid was suspended, and uh, there's a reason why it made national news. I, just, I feel you like You still haven't said a band name. Yeah. ACDC, I thought it's Pink be Floyd, a band. Led Zeppelin. Hmm. Okay, we need, you, need, you got five seconds. Five. What, what, what are you going with? What, what are you going Four. with? ACDC, Led Zeppelin, Pink Floyd, Def huh. Leppard, no. Three. You're, you're dressed like them two, today. One. ACDC. ACDC is incorrect. I'm so sorry. Ah. He went for the two prizes. I'm so that's sorry. That's what happens to get greedy, bro. Uh, that's good. That's <laughs> getting greedy. Uh, who we got next, Angel? Uh, we got Megan in Palm Coast. Hi, right, Megan. Palm Coast. How you doing, Megan? The Palm Coast Stallion. Hey, good morning. Good morning, Megan. <laughs> 37 years ago today, this made national news in 1987 in, in South River, New Jersey. A high school student was suspended for wearing a T-shirt to school. It said, to hell with the devil. What band was it promoting? Is it Striper? Of course it's Striper, mm-hmm. yes. It's Striper. Because... Right, hold on a second. Uh, Amber, have you ever heard of the band Striper? Have you heard of Striper? Um, 
Yes, but I don't really know them. Though. You don't know them that well. <laughs> yeah, you've uh, heard of them. Huh? Now, the re- the reason it made national news is because "To Hell with the Devil" yeah. was a Christian heavy metal band, and it was not saying we love the devil. It was like "To Hell with the Devil," and and it was a big debate at the time, and that kind of got them on the map. Uh, and uh, yes, it was Striper, which uh, is one of my favorite bands, actually. And uh, and I know Michael Sweet, the lead singer, super great guy. And uh, they, I remember that was a, name a, a huge. I did. Yeah. I dropped his name <laughs> on purpose because because uh, it's cool that I know him. Uh, but uh, so and you're and you're wearing yellow and a black. See, that was their gimmick. Yellow, the yellow and black attack. Black uh, attack. Uh, yeah. Do you have a little help to hell with the devil, Angel? Can we are we allowed to play any of it? You think we have Striper in this thing? Oh, there's no Striper in there? No. I've literally never heard of Striper until I got on this show. Oh, really? Uh, yeah. Uh, they were a big deal for uh, on MTV for a while. Uh, there was like a period in 80, I think it was 87, where they were always in the top five when it came to the MTV, you know, song of the day or whatever. Uh, and here we go. See, he didn't like the devil. That was the whole. That was the whole the debate at the time when the kid was uh, suspended from school for wearing the T-shirt that said "To Hell with the Devil." It was like, his parents were like, "No, he's this is he's a Christian kid. He, he wasn't trying to do anything wrong." So it was that, uh, that that song is interesting. Oh yeah, you it rocks. His voice sounds a, a lot like um. What? I don't know. Help me out here. <laughs> we don't it's live like, in your brother. brain, girl. <laughs> Damn. We can't finish your sentences. Yeah. I thought we were all friends. We finished each other's sentences on here. <laughs> anyway, uh, yeah. So it is. She it is, jumped it, off that. Yeah. She jumped out that window. The cut for sure. Yeah. Thinking, <laughs> with no hint whatsoever. Like, he sounds a lot like, you know, tell me his name. <laughs> I don't think he sounds like anyone else Dio, in rock. Dio. Ronnie James Dio. Yeah. Okay, I can see a little bit of that. All right. <laughs> yeah? Rainbow in the Dark? Okay, okay. yeah. Okay, I yeah. got you. See, I, I, look at I, you. Know, I know you know this kind of music, yeah. so I thought you had probably heard to Her- Tell with the Devil before, but no. No, I don't think so. You got to, okay, I, here's a little bit of homework. Today, get the best of Striper and listen to it. Why are you punishing it. her? And I think you'll love, no. <laughs> well, she's, she's done he good, knows man. Me. He knows what I like. She likes that kind of music. She, uh, she, I think she'd dig it. But anyway, Megan, congratulations. You are a winner. Uh, uh, Megan, how long have you been listening to the? Uh, I put her on hold. Oh, you put her on hold. Okay. Well, we, you want to talk to her? No, let's do this. We'll, right. we'll talk to her coming back, uh, coming back from the break. But um, uh, yeah, that was uh, that. That was so funny because I, I remember it being this big. It was like national news. Kids suspended for wearing T-shirt, and everyone when you when you first hear it, to hell with the devil. Oh, just the word devil is in there. It must be bad. And and that was the must have uh, been a trend during that time. Deputy Scott checking in. I got suspended from Leesburg High School for wearing the same shirt. Really? Yeah. And it, but it, that one didn't make national news. Well, maybe it did. You just didn't know. Uh, yeah, I could have. Yeah, I remember right. a kid in my school got suspended for wearing a nine inch nails shirt. Which one? Just it just said nine, nine inch, inch nails, nails on it. it. Was yeah. the, was it the N I N? Yeah. Yeah. No, I never understood why, but I was like, "Ooh, nine inch nails must be bad." I know there was. Uh, <laughs> I remember someone got where well, they had to go home. They get suspended, but they wore a, a Motley Crew "Girls, Girls, Girls" T-shirt. And they well, had, yeah, you can understand why yeah. they had strippers on the T-shirt. I, exactly. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> so they 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 had to go home and change or whatever, but uh, didn't get suspended. But uh, uh, yeah, this was like uh, some some big big national story. All right, when we come back, we'll talk to Megan and find out what's important to her and what she would like to plug and promote. I want to remind you that on this coming. Friday, 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 yeah. Friday. Uh, tickets go on sale for the Monster Brew Bus. Monster Brew Bus is happening on April the thirteenth. It's a Saturday, all day event. We start here at the radio station at like ten forty five, and uh, we go to three different breweries. We go to Brewlando, which is over on Hofter in Orlando. Then uh, around, yeah. uh, around one forty five, we'll show up at to- uh, Toll Road Brewing Woo! Company in Ocoee. 
Uh, and then at 4 o'clock, we're going to be at Claremont Brewing. So we get on a big bus. We go for all these different breweries. And it's only it's it's like cruise friends, yeah. man. When we first start out, nobody knows each other. And you kind of just politely say Don't hi. talk to me in the morning. Ne- next thing you know, you're having a couple <laughs> beers. Everybody's high-fiving, singing, having a good time. And it really is a lot of fun. I will be on the bus along with Bo the Big Man Rhodes is coming. My buddy for, who helped me start the show. You remember Bo. Angel and Ryan. Jack Bradshaw will be with us. We want to invite Amber Nova. I don't know if you are busy that day but you're welcome to come if you'd like i would absolutely love to down some brewskis with my monster fam however motor madness oh is at the camping world stadium and your girl is bringing her nova to orlando's car club events so uh, oh, okay that's a that's a big there. event man that's cool uh, yeah camping world stadium yep. they invited me to bring my nova so oh, motor cool. madness april 13th i'll be with orlando's car club wow amber nova with it's nova Nap, promoter nova. event up against out. us get thanks out, get out of yeah, the studio right now no, she I got my ten does. photos with me and my Nova. No, yeah, but we're promoting get, something else yeah. right now. She doesn't, she doesn't get it. Yeah, she doesn't my get God. it. Very, na- very naive. Don't you know what she's thinking, Angel? Amber, <laughs> Amber, Amber. That's what she's thinking. Anyway, tickets go on sale this coming Friday <laughs> at 10 a.m. You can get your tickets. It'll be, be online, so get them when you can, because when they sell out, they sell out. We can't get you on the bus. Once the tickets sell out, they're, they're sold out. So grab them. That's this Friday. It's the Monster Brew Bus, and uh, we'll come back, and we'll talk to Megan when we return. You're listening to the Monster of the Morning. Now that you can have people over again. Why is your remote sticky? Tell your smart speaker to play Real Radio 104.1 on iHeartRadio. From the Goldsmith Jewelry Shop Traffic Center, lowest prices on the highest quality jewelry. Goldsmithjewelry.com. Eastbound I-4 is very slow from before it was 27 to State Road 429. Eastbound I-4 also has a crash in the left turn lane of the exit ramp to State Road 535. Eastbound is slowing down from Conroy Road to Cayley Street because of a crash blocking two right lanes with hazmat activity. And westbound I-4 is heavy approaching Lake Mary Boulevard. See traffic problems? Call the Valvoline Instant Oil Change traffic tip line at 866-676-8477. From the Traffic Center, I'm Daisy Ash. This report is sponsored by Rasmussen University. I had so many dreams, but life quickly got in the way. Then Rasmussen University saw my true potential and gave me the support and confidence I needed to become who I am today. Rasmussen University. Learn more at rasmussen.edu slash Florida. QC Kinetics, do you have knee pain, back pain, shoulder pain, any kind of pain from arthritis or maybe some injury? If you do... Uh, a lot of people, doctors might have told you that, listen, you have to have surgery. You know, here's some painkillers, here's some drugs, uh, and maybe you don't want to do that. If you don't want to do that, but you want to get rid of the pain, QC Kinetics can help you. QC Kinetics has literally transformed thousands of lives and helped people. Their advanced treatments harnesses your body's own ability to restore and repair your damaged tissue, and they help you get over that pain without having surgery. Pro athletes have been doing this for decades now, and now this life-changing treatment is available to you at QC. Kinetics. I got to meet the folks at QC Kinetics, and I'm glad that I did because I got to see how much they really care about helping people get over the pain without surgery. And, you know, a lot of times when you have surgery, you're out of work for a month or so, and not everybody can afford to be out of work for a month or so. That's why QC Kinetics is great. Financing is available, and they'd love to help you. It's QC Kinetics. For a free consultation, here's the phone number, 689-244-7980. That's 689-244-7980 for QC Kinetics. They're in Orlando, Winter Park, the Villages, and now in Lake Mary. 689-244-7980 for QC Kinetics. Sento Family Moving and Storage is Central Florida's trusted source for local and long-distance moving. From packing to delivery, Sento Moving is fully licensed and insured to provide you a seamless moving experience so you can enjoy your new home in no time. Get a quote today at CentoMoving.com. Forget the stress, move with the best. This earful of Rail Radio is sponsored by RC Hill Mitsubishi, Highway 1792 in DeLand. Join us for our 2024 iHeartRadio Music Awards, live from the Dolby Theater in Hollywood. Monday, April 1st. Watch on Fox, starting at 8 p.m. And listen on the free iHeartRadio app. Tesla Apprentilast is a proud partner of the iHeartRadio Music Awards, a celebration of artists and the fans who got them there, the fans who make the music truly come alive through their energy and positive vibes. To the fans that make live music possible, we salute you. Hey, let's get out of here. With Audible, we could root for a lone astronaut as he tries to save Earth from disaster. Maybe go for a run with the founder of the world's biggest sneaker brand. We could get the tea on the real-life media mogul succession drama. 
or find out what life is really like for an Oscar-winning actress. I mean, with Audible, we could go anywhere. There's more to imagine when we listen. Hear the latest audiobooks, podcasts, and originals at audible.com. Hard Rock Bet presents Legal in Florida. You can bet the game on Hard Rock Bet. No more betting inside your head. Get a no-regret first bet up to $100 when you sign up now. Offered by the Seminole Tribe of Florida. Must be 21 and over and physically present in Florida to wager. Terms and conditions apply. Concerned about gambling? Please call one 888 admitted I'm Charles. I got a bad back injury when a truck crashed into my car. You know those lawyer ads. All they talk about are themselves and money, <sighs> money, money. I wanted the best doctors for my back. I called attorney Glenn Klausman. He got me to really good doctors, and I'm doing great. Glenn was always available to talk to. He got me a great settlement and quicker than I thought possible. Car crash? Call Klausman at 407-917-1718. K-L-A-U-S-M-A-N-Law.com. Office, Winter Park. At International Diamond Center, their diamonds don't just sparkle. They come to life. The diamond doesn't smile at you. Don't buy it. The diamond's got to talk to you. IDC owner Keith LeClaire says the reason his diamonds have this magical quality is because every diamond at IDC has passed through the highest possible quality control standards and chosen for maximum beauty. You're seeing the brilliance and the scintillation. There's no obstruction in that diamond. There's no internal green. There's no clouds. An IDC diamond is better because, pure and simple, we put the time, the effort of selecting only the best. Every diamond is going to be handpicked by us. We're looking for nothing but the top, top, top percent. So there's never any cutting corners, no compromising, no settling for an okay diamond. Let's be critical. Let's pick the best and deliver the best we can. We do all the hard work in the beginning. Is that diamond you're about to buy just okay, or does it speak to you? Come to IDC and listen before you buy. Anybody that sees it on her hand, they're going to be on. Where'd you get that diamond? International Diamond Center. Four Orlando locations. This is Steve Kramer. Let me tell you a business secret. There are sketch companies out there selling awards. Make sure the awards earned by your lawyer are from respected organizations. At Trendley Kramer Law, our lawyers have been recognized by Orlando Magazine Best Lawyers, Florida Trend Legal Elite, Super Lawyers, and listed in U.S. News as a best law firm for years. We've earned the awards that can't be bought. Trendley Kramer, TK Law, one firm for life, dot com. Are you over 30 and putting off life insurance? It's time to get a quick quote from Ethos, a better, easier way to get term life insurance, all online with no medical exam. Answer a few health questions and you could be approved for up to $2 million. Isn't it worth 10 minutes to help protect your family's financial security? Ethos, up to $2 million in coverage with no medical exam. Some policies as low as a dollar a day. Answer a few health questions and get your free quote at checkethos.com. That's checkethos.com. It's draft season. The 2024 NFL Draft is right around the corner, and the Move to Six podcast has you covered for all your draft needs. The show is hosted by me, Daniel Jeremiah, and my partner, Bucky Brooks. When it comes to Detroit and the draft, Move the Six is the podcast that will answer all your questions. Which quarterbacks are going in the first round? Don't worry. Tune in, and you'll be ready to watch the draft like a scout. Subscribe now and listen to the Move the Sticks podcast on the iHeartRadio app or wherever you get your podcasts. A1Garage.com, A1 from day one. Mornings Radio 104.1, broadcasting live on iHeartRadio. Remember, if you're leaving your radio, you're going into work, and you got a smart speaker, say, smart speaker, play Real Radio 104.1 on iHeartRadio, and it will do it for you, pop it on for you, and that way you don't miss any part of the show. If you miss any part of the show, you can go to the iHeartRadio app and listen to the podcast that Angel puts up every single day, hour by hour, which is awesome. Welcome. I get it up on a daily basis, Russ. <laughs> you get it up on a daily basis. The podcast, at, at least three or four times. At least. Well, it's <laughs> five, well, yeah. Uh, yeah. Five. Yeah, right. five, you, hour, five you, hours of podcasting. Yeah. You get it up at least five, five. times a yep, day. Yep, yep, yep. That's more than I can say. Uh, <laughs> Ryan's here, Angel's here, Amber Nova here, and we have a winner on the line. It's Megan. Hello, Megan. How you doing? Megan, can you hear me? I'm great. I'm sorry. We just 
we a bunny just popped out of my car, so we're like a little crazy right now. A, a, a bunny. A bunny. Did you did you catch yeah. it? Yeah, you my ca- wife has it. <gasps> okay, you caught the bunny. Good. Is it your bunny? Sort of. Sort of. We found it yesterday, and then we lost it in the car, and then we just found it this morning. <laughs> Damn. <laughs> so you lost it in the car. It must be a big car. Or a small bunny? Or a messy car that uh, they can hide stuff yeah, easily. Yeah, you got a dirty bunny car. It's not very messy, but it is a tiny bunny. It's a very tiny bunny. And obviously Easter's this week, so that's why, is that why you have a bunny? Oh, you're going to eat a bunny for Easter? You don't eat a bunny. No, no, no. <laughs> Sacrifice no, the bunny. absolutely not. What, what are you doing? We rescued the bunny. We rescued the bunny from oh, a dog. Doesn't sound like you did a good but job if you lost it. Because there's extra bunnies this yeah, week. Right. Yeah, extra extra bunnies. Are, are you going to give the bunny to like uh, some kids or something, or are you going to keep the bunny yourself? No, I think we're going to keep the bunny, but we do have a couple of kids that live with us. Hey, so what uh, What did you name the bunny? Dinner. Lost. We haven't named it yet. You got, oh, you got to name it. Yeah, we got to figure out a name. Is it girl? Is, can you tell if it's a girl or a boy? We think so. We think it's a girl. It's a girl. Call him Amber. Little, I'm, I'm l- still stuck on the part that you were able to sleep all night knowing you lost a bunny in your car and didn't spend all night looking for it. Like, that's what I would have done. She makes a good point. Uh, if well, you- they thought the bunny had gotten out the car, and it surprised them this morning. We spent four hours yesterday looking for a bunny, tearing the car apart, and then we left food and water out in hopes the bunny would eat something and come out. Oh, so I got that, that makes sense. Car. Maybe, I got you. Maybe you thought it escaped. Yeah, that makes sense. So the bunny, uh, the, the bunny slept in the car all night, and then you just found the bunny. Uh, the bunny's got to be hungry, huh? Yeah, probably. Yeah. Yeah. We've got treats though. It's fine. Wow. That, that, hey, you feed bunny chorizo. Treats. Treats. Oh, I thought she said, I straight up said, I heard Teresa. her say Teresa. Teresa. I got a fun fact. I had a pet bunny. How, how, how small is the bunny? It can fit in the palm of your hand right now. Oh, it's that small. Okay. It's super small. It will eat your hair. Yeah. It'll eat your she hair? Got, she popped out of our glove box. <laughs> where did you get the bunny? Like, uh, where'd, you, where'd you find it, uh, you know, originally? Um, My wife's boss's dog had it in his mouth. Oh, my God. <gasps> Why is Bonzo uh, You guys are saints. And, and, and you saved the bunny from the. What kind of dog was it? Uh, he's just a dachshund. Oh, okay. Like a, <laughs> a dachshund. A little dachshund holding a bunny They're in the mouth. They're mean, though. They, if they were the size of regular dogs, this world would be over. So do you think the, 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 yeah. the, the dog found the bunny, like, out in the wild? Is that a wild bunny? Or do you think it was, like, a kid's bunny that he found? Somebody lost? No. It's a wild bunny. Damn. Aww. It's a baby. What are the odds that a, that a Dotson, well, Dotson would find a wild bunny, bring it to them, they would they, they would have it, it would get lost in the car, and then the next on morning. On the week of Easter. It, yeah. it, it, on the week of Easter. <laughs> if you wrote all that down in a book, no, or, you know, in a movie. Nobody Sounds would, like a Disney movie. Nobody would believe it. Well, Megan, I'm glad you found your bunny. That's uh, that's pretty cool. What are you? Uh, how long have you been listening to the show, Megan? I've been listening for about 10, almost 11 years. God bless you. Thank you so much. We appreciate that uh, so much. And then uh, what, what do you do for a living? I do human resources at Boston Whaler. Oh, Boston Whaler. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. We talked to you before. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yes. Yeah, that's a great company. Those are great boats for sure. Man, I get that, uh, I get that, I I get that itch every once in a while to get a boat again, and then I have to, I have to get it out of my head. Megan, what's the most expensive boat that you guys have on the lot right now? Like, if I want, if I. 420 Outrage. What is it called? The 420 I'm, Outrage, I'm bro. Sure it's the 420 Outrage. So that means it's, it's our four, biggest boat. That's 40 foot, right? 42 foot? Yeah, something yeah. like that. Yeah, when it says 420, that means it's 42 foot. No, yeah, man, it's just a good boat to smoke weed on with a bunny. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> and and uh, <laughs> what would you like to plug and promote, Megan? Uh, so my wife is the manager at this um, pet grooming store called Cuddle Pet Grooming. Cuddles? And I wanted to, yeah, Cuddle Pet Grooming. Um, we strive to be the most inclusive pet groomer, so we take all kinds of pets, including pets with disabilities and um, 
just like emotional issues. So if they're a little high strung or why are you laughing at Ryan? Or, I looked at Ryan. Why are you like, laughing at Ryan? Uh, like, like, a, like a dog what? with Tourette's or something, or like <laughs> like, like a slow dog. Hey, do, well, don't make fun of dogs' hey, mental problems. I got a question, uh, Megan, and you can ask your wife this. This is a, this is something I was thinking about the other day. I was watching a story. It was a beautiful, cute story about uh, children with Down syndrome, and I, my question was. Can dogs have Down syndrome? Yeah, it's called round syndrome. Um, I don't know. Katie, can dogs have Down syndrome? They are definitely special needs dogs. I don't know any specifically diagnosed, though. So there are special so, needs dogs. So there, yeah. there, there are dogs that have doggy Down syndrome. Yeah, so, something similar, at least, yeah. Okay, just curious because I, you know, I I saw that story. I'm like, mm, I've never because remember Grumpy Cat. I'm wondering if Grumpy Cat it was sort of Grumpy Cat wasn't really a Grumpy Cat. It was just the way that its face rested. Well, it, it did have some kind of like disorder. Disorder, yeah. yeah. And, and and I'm not trying to be funny. I mean, I'm like, humans. Holmes, do you think? This is the mental yeah. picture that I'm painting right now. Russ is in his pool. He's mm-hmm. had a couple of tequilas. And then he does the voice that he yeah. does. He's giggling Man. his ass off. He's giggling his ass off. I wonder if dogs could have Down syndrome. I think there are any, like, uh, Downsy dogs? <laughs> I, I am just curious. She said they help special needs dogs. What so. would it sound like, Mary Ellen? Man! 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 That's, man. You, that's Ryan Holmes doing <laughs> that. Me. Just for the record, a dog cannot have Down syndrome because they have different amount of chromosomes. Gotcha. Downs is a chromosomal kind of thing with human beings. Well, now I know. Well, what kind of special needs uh, dogs do you work with, uh, uh, Megan? Three legged dog? We work, yeah, actually, we have had some three-legged dogs come in, but we also work with um, animals that are, like, bite aggressive or a little bit older and need some special attention. Bunnies are prone to, like, heart attacks if you are (laughs) too... Uh, startling for them, so we have to be extra careful with bunnies. Well, yeah, you, um, you got a you got a bunny you should worry about in your car that's been so, locked up all night. I know, right? <laughs> yeah, I think wants to hump everything. She said she left food and water out for it. Okay, all right. Well, well, Megan, we did. Yeah, we did. Yeah, it's a uh, uh, cuddles pet grooming, right? Yep. All and right. We have the only ADA approved dog washing or self dog washing station. So if anybody wanted to do their pets themselves, they can come in. And do it that way. That is great. Megan, thank you so much for being a, a great supporter for a decade. That is awesome. Tell your wife we said hello and take care of the bunny, okay? Thank you. All right. Bye. Happy Easter, guys. All right. Happy, Happy Easter. Easter. All right. You take care. All right. When we come back, we're going to talk with Dwight Bain. Dwight Bain is a nationally known uh, grief counselor, but he also, is, you know, he, he does counseling on many other, you know, many other things. He's like one of the best experts in town on counseling, and uh, he's doing a special on Channel 9 with Greg Warmoth about, you know, kids under the age of 16, whether they should have social media or not. And and he would know all the statistics and all the things, and, we, and we, I know Angel was asking questions about it yesterday, so we got a uh, we got a professional on that will be able to tell us uh, the good, the bad, and the ugly about social media with uh, kids under the age of 16. So we'll talk to Dwight Bain when we come back. Don't go anywhere. You're listening to the Monsters of the Morning. Real Radio is on Facebook at Real Radio 1041. Sponsored by the Law Offices of Anajar and Levine Accident Attorneys. Have you been in an accident? Call the Law Offices of Anajar and Levine at 1 800 747 free. That's 1 800 747 3733. From the Cool Today Weather Center, cooltoday.com. Going on Central Florida on Fox 35. Storm Team Meteorologist Snow Bergen here. Wednesday, temperatures will be in the mid-80s. We'll have some showers and thunder moving in during the late afternoon and the evening across Central Florida. That activity will continue through Wednesday night into the first half of Thursday. Thursday afternoon, a cold front comes through and it rapidly clears. The sun is out everywhere by uh, Thursday evening. Friday, pristine, tons of sun, 77, chilly at night. And then Easter Sunday looks good, mostly sunny with highs in the afternoon in the low 80s. This report is sponsored by Wawa. Wawa's new built-to-order wraps are here. It's all the flavor you love, wrapped up and ready to move with your day. Try an Italian or bacon ranch chicken steak wrap today. Gotta have a Wawa. Let me tell you about Mills Air. Great folks at Mills Air. That's the only company I trust. Man, I gotta tell you what, I've used them to get my brand new air conditioning system. 
uh, and I got a carrier system. If you're going to turn to the experts, you got to turn to carrier. They're awesome people. Uh, uh, you know, and Mills Air is a, 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 um, a dealer, and they also can you know, factory authorize dealer to put in the system, and they do an incredible job at that. Mills Air. Every time I talk to my buddy Leon Mills, he will remind me that hey, listen, please tell the listeners uh, to have us do that service, doing the service, the 30 point inspection on your air conditioning system is such a smart thing because if you sit and wait for your AC to break, it's gonna it's, it's gonna be more difficult to fix it, right? If you do preventative maintenance, it's so much better. It'll save you time, save you money. They do a 30-point inspection that is uh, is great for you in the long run. It's millsair.com. That's millsair.com. If you have a problem with allergies right now, and a lot of people are having problems with allergies, they can put a UV light in your air conditioning system, and it will kill mold and mildew and bacteria that is circulating through your house, and it really has done a great job for my wife and her allergies. It's millsair.com. That's millsair.com. If you're going to upgrade right now, you can upgrade your uh, your AC system, and they've got rebates up to $1,275 on a carrier unit. It's my buddies over at MillsAir.com. That's MillsAir.com. At GiveMeTheVin.com, it's all digital. We have a 45-second offer online. It's fast, it's easy, and we have the best online reviews on the planet. Sell me your car. Sell us your car. GiveMeTheVin.com. So easy you can do it in your underwear. If you're the victim of a car crash, never rush to settle with the insurance companies and never settle for just any attorney. Demand Anna Jarn Levine. Call 1-800-747-FREE for a free consultation and take back control of your life. In Office Orlando. You've heard about the thousands of patients finally getting relief from chronic joint pain thanks to QC Kinetics non-invasive treatments. And here's one who was determined to avoid surgery. Meet Vicki. The orthopedic surgeon said, well, you're going to need knee replacement sooner rather than later. I kept hearing commercials about QC Kinetics and thought, well, I'm going to check them out first. QC Kinetics has treated over 20,000 patients like Vicki around the country. People who were told they needed surgery but chose a more natural, less invasive approach that uses regenerative treatments to help heal and restore painful joints with no downtime. If QC Kinetics had not been what I expected, I would have gone through with the surgery, but I got so much relief and am now pretty much pain-free that I don't have to have the surgery. Before before going under the knife, you need to check out QC Kinetics. The consultation is free. Call today. Call QC Kinetics, 689-244-7980. That's 689-244-7980. In Orlando, Winter Park, the Villages, and Lake Mary, 689-244-7980. Sunnyside Plumbing. Yes, I've got a leaking... To leave us a testimonial saying how happy you are with our service, press 1. But you haven't even... For all other inquiries, please hang up. Wait, what? Hang up and call Frank Gay. We're busy watching the game. You know what? I think I will. When you have a leak, you need solutions on your schedule. A helpful expert who can find the problem and fix it fast. That's the Frank Gay way. FrankGayServices.com Hey, baseball fans, did you know that Fubo has the most MLB games you can get without cable? That's right. Only Fubo has the broadcast networks and regional networks you need to watch your home team all year long. Out of market? Don't worry. Fubo has MLB TV, too. Watch on all your devices at home and on the go. Baseball season is finally here. Get Fubo today. Start streaming FuboTV.com. That's F-U-B-O-T-V.com. To thank you for 40 unforgettable years, Dell Technologies is celebrating with anniversary savings on their most popular tech. For a limited time only, save on select next-gen PCs like the XPS 13 Plus, powered by Intel Core processors and more. Plus, curate your dream setup with great deals on select monitors, mice, and more must-have electronics and accessories. When you shop online at dell.com slash deals, you'll have access to leading-edge technology and free shipping on everything. Again, that's dell.com slash deals. You know you should clean your carpet and tile, but did you know there's a right way to clean? Russ Rollins here for Zero Res, and they have figured it out with their patented process that leaves zero sticky, soapy chemical residue behind. They bring their own special ZR water because it cleans better, and it dries faster, and it's safer for kids and pets. So, no hooking up to your water. Mention my name, and you get 20% off your tile and grout cleaning. And carpet cleaning is only $49 per room. Go online to OrlandoZeroRes.com. That's Zero Res, spelled forwards or backwards. It's the right way to clean are you a victim of the timeshare trap and think there's no way out i'm chuck mcdowell founder of wesley financial group the original timeshare cancellation expert and i'm here to tell you that there is a way out 
All you need to do is give my office a call. I will send you a timeshare exit information kit absolutely free explaining how the timeshare industry works and your options for cancellation. Call Wesley now for your free info kit. 800-522-5700. 800-522-5700. The free iHeartRadio app has over 100 commercial-free stations waiting for you right now. Like Lost 80s. Just search Lost 80s and listen now on your free iHeartRadio app. iHeartRadio. Free never sounded so good. Embark on a journey through the most absurd moments of the human story with Ridiculous History, the podcast that explores the bizarre corners of human existence, like the evolution of the toilet, the story of Comic Sans, or the exploits of the notorious Aaron Burr. Aaron Burr is like, one day, my life is going to be part of a musical. However, though, he probably didn't necessarily at this point think that he was going to be the villain. Listen to Ridiculous History on the iHeartRadio app or wherever you get your podcasts. Join a one-night spring edition of Harry's Sip and Saver, April 6th, 6.30 at Harry's Poolside Bar and Grill, 9840 International Drive, featuring mixology and culinary arts. Harry'sPoolside.com slash Harry's Sip and Saver. Want to win a free motorcycle? I'm Orlando attorney Mo DeWitt, and I'm giving away a free motorcycle valued up to $20,000. All you have to do is go to BikersWinOrlando.com. That's BikersWinOrlando.com. Enter today at BikersWinOrlando.com. Remember, you can tell your smart speaker to play Say, Smart Speaker, play Real Radio 104.1 on iHeartRadio, and it'll pop it on for you. And uh, and this uh, this show is live on YouTube all the time. If you miss any part of the show, you can go back and watch it on YouTube. But we're live on YouTube. Real Radio Monsters on YouTube. Welcome back. I'm Russ Rollins. we got Angel and Amber Nova, and we've got Ryan here today. But our special guest is a great buddy of mine. I love this dude. He's a world-renowned grief counselor and just all around a, a great guy and he can help explain this to me because look sometimes I see stories and I don't know how I really feel about them and Dwight Bain is on with us right now to uh, talk about you know we, we talked about it a little bit yesterday Dwight with the um, uh, Florida now has the Florida has the most restrictive social media bans for minors and I, I go back and forth with it I was wanting to talk to you about it so you can help me understand because part of me goes like well, I don't know if I like the the state telling me whether I, you know, my 12 year old can have you know, Facebook or not. But then on the other hand, I'm glad the state tells us all we have to wear seatbelts because it saves lives. So I go back and forth. How do you feel about this, Dwight? Uh Oh, hold on for one second. I'm trying to, we're, we're trying to get it up. <laughs> Hell yeah. Hold on. We're trying to get the sound up again. Hold on. We thought we had it. Could you could you hear him over there when you were chatting with him? I can hear him. It's on Angel's end. Okay. All right. We're gonna try to we're try to work this out. One, uh, there you go. There you go. There you go. We got you. Okay. Ah. Hey, Dwight. Well, it is good to be with you all, and especially on a topic like this because this is a lifesaver. So let's look at. I got two sides. The the governor of the state of Florida said kids can't have access. Okay. So on one side is, do I want the government to tell me what to do? And, and on that side, let's make sure we put car seats, because remember, Russ, there was a time that car seats were kind of an optional, or, or well, let's put bicycle helmets, because there was a time that you could kind of, you know, decide if your kid needed a bicycle helmet. Let's put public play parks and playgrounds. Do you remember teeter-totters? Yes. And, and and they don't have many of those anymore, because people would get, you know, their fingers stuck, and, and so it's like, okay, we gotta make playgrounds safe. And so for the government to say lead-based paint is not a good idea. And, and, and I can understand people saying, I don't want the government to tell me what to do. Totally get that. But I, I pulled up some, some research actually from my friend Daniel Amen and from the CDC. And I'm gonna share with you why this is a lifesaver. Okay. This is brand new from, from the Centers for Disease Control. 54% of teenage girls report being persistently sad. 32% have thought of killing themselves. 24% have planned on killing themselves. And 13% of teenage girls have tried. And when you start to look at what in the world is going on, because the numbers for teenage mental health on issues of depression, on, on substance abuse, on suicide, on, on cutting, absolutely on social phobia, those numbers have doubled or tripled since before the global pandemic. 
And when you start to look at what in the world is going on, everybody from the Surgeon General to Daniel Amen, the brain researcher, to everything that I can find says, oh, there is a solution. Child-sized brains were not designed to deal with social media. So when you look at places like Instagram and Snapchat and Facebook, Facebook did an internal study of uh, Facebook users and uh, Facebook, of course, Meta owns Instagram as well. Yeah. And they found the same thing. Instagram, the people that made it and a whistleblower, you know, ratted them out, but they did their own study to go, wow, this is really true. Our algorithm makes teenage girls, especially younger than 14, compare themselves and want to die. And Facebook said, yeah, we're not going to report that. And a whistleblower said, yeah, you are. Hey, so d- this d- becomes life, life-threatening life to girls, especially. Dwight, why is it different for girl, girls and different for boys? Why, why, are, why are those statistics different? Okay. Um, because gonna, girls have a vagina and boys have a penis. No, right? no, no, so no. I don't know if you have to know how that works. No, I do know how that works. But I'm just saying, you know, you, a, a young, young, impressionable minds, so, I would think it'd be around the same, but it's not, huh? Right. Well, here's what happens, right? So when we're dealing with adolescent brain, yeah, adolescent teenage girl brain is comparing herself to these beautiful images. There was a song a couple of years ago about, you know, jealousy, jealousy, and, and how I'm comparing myself. Teenage girls will compare themselves to images. Teenage boys are addicted to, to technology as well, but they're addicted to something called video games and porn. So they're not really comparing themselves and wanting to die, right? they just get lost in this dark hole of wasting time and not maturing and not growing up because the younger somebody is when their brain goes into an addiction, whether it be drugs, alcohol, sexuality, when somebody's very early exposed to tobacco, to alcohol, that brain will be addicted maybe for the rest of their lives. That's why we have an age, a government imposed age on alcohol at 21. But, but if somebody waited till they were 25, they have almost a zero likelihood of alcoholism. We, we say you can't have tobacco till you're 18. Right. But if they waited until they're 20, because it's all about brain development, if they waited a couple of more years, what would happen is something amazing. They would have almost a zero likelihood of a lifelong dependency on tobacco. And, and, and so the issue here, to me, is not about government control. We have two other issues. One is about brain health, right? I've explained that. And the other is about parenting, because I... I shared that I was going to be on with you all and talk about this. And a friend of mine said, couldn't you just tell parents to step up and be a parent right. and not get their seven-year-old a smartphone? I said, well, that's a good question. Yeah, you, we. Uh, I it, said it, that it, yesterday and Angel yelled at me. We, we had uh, yesterday. It's unrealistic. We, it, we were talking about, uh, you know, how I guess if you it, the, the child's 14. Let's say you've got a 14-year-old child. We had some people text in that say, my my kid's fine. You think you have, you know, you've got a great kid. They get great grades. They do what you ask them to do. And they want to be on Facebook. And so you can, uh, as a parent at 14, you can give them permission. Uh, if, if, a, if a child does seem to be all put together well, do you still think it's a bad idea, Dwight, for them to start social media that young? So it's a great question. And and, and here's the, the big challenge. It's a child by child question because it's about brain development. So when I can look at, can I define if my 14 year old daughter, 14 year old son is mature enough to be able to handle all of the temptations in the world. Right. And here's the point, Rust. If you know, we've all told our children, stranger danger, stranger danger, stranger danger. And the likelihood of our children being abducted by a stranger is virtually zero. But if I say, okay, I know that you're safe and you're not going to be out with the strangers of the world, but guess what? I'm going to give you something that will connect you to every stranger in the world who may want to traffic you. Right. So that brain isn't developed enough. That means I need parental check-ins. I need safeguards. I want to be able as a parent. But one of the big things, Russ, is that that kids get so lost in the social isolation and so lonely and so chronically empty that being outside, the research shows that if you're outside, if you're in Little League, if you're in youth sports, if you're in gymnastics, if you're involved in helping at the animal shelter, if you're connected, now we've protected against the mental health crisis. And we know that 97% of teens are using some form of social media every day the average length of time is seven hours a day. Right. Seven hours. 
And that's not, and then so that takes them I away from take... being parts of the community. Again, we're, you know, you got a whole generation of young right, people right. that are not vested in their community. They're vested in their bedroom and on their social media. They're not making strong friendships. They're not under, they're not developing natural problem solving skills that you would occur naturally in your social group. They're not doing these things. There were, these kids are just staying in front of a screen. And so I don't think it's that big. I don't, I don't think it's a big reach for the state to help the parents in this in this regard. If the companies were really about us as citizens, if the companies were worried about us, they would have they would have policed themselves and they would have put these barriers in there before them. The UK is already stepping up and having to do this for themselves. China steps up and says, hey, young people aren't allowed on TikTok. We're the only country that we're going to argue over, hey, this is an assist that the government's going to help us with and and protecting our kids. Yeah, it's a, it's a good word, Angel, because when you start to look at on things like a driver's license, there's an entire process based on is this child mature enough, responsible enough to operate a motor vehicle that might hurt somebody, right? And so you have your restricted license, you have your driver's license, and many, many researchers, brain researchers are saying this generation of young people are so immature that maybe we should consider moving the driver's, driver's license age up a year or two. Because right. you can measure brain maturity, you can measure brain development. And as you do, then you can say, wow, this is really serious. And so for the moms and dads who are struggling, and for many moms and dads, they tell me it's a fight every single day to get the controller out of their son's hands, to get the phone out of their daughter's hands, because, and here's the big word, it's an addiction. Yeah. It takes over, addiction takes over your brain, takes over your life, and then it starts to destroy your life. And that's why other countries are saying, we don't want our kids to be hurt by this anymore. We've reached a place called enough already. Hey, Dwight, I know uh, in and out you are you're a counselor every single day. You talk to to grown men, grown women. I don't know if you talk to many uh, young adults or whatever, but how often does the topic of social media come up in your day to day counseling uh, sessions? Well, remember, adults can be addicted to social media, yep. just like teenagers. The difference is, adult brain is able to go. I spent you know five hours on this. I really should get up and go to bed. Adolescent brains have a much, much harder time being able to say no to their impulses. And so, Russ, every single day I'm hearing about social media. For some people, right, in couples counseling, it's going to be more. They found somebody that they, you know, went to high school with and they're a little dis, you know, disenchanted in their marriage. And they find somebody from high school because of Facebook connecting. And, and so it leads to an affair. At least one in five extramarital affairs came because of Facebook or Instagram. Wow. And again, that's according to the, the data. So you could stop 20% of affairs if people just got off of social media and said, you know, yeah, our marriage isn't perfect, but we're going to, we're going to figure this out instead of I'm going to go find that, that totally hot cheerleader, you know, from 30 years ago. <laughs> the reality is, yeah, it's been 30 years. <laughs> it's been a while. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hey, so, I don't know. As somebody who did that, uh, my life's pretty dope. <laughs> Enjoy that. So, Dw Dwight, okay, let's say let's say you're a younger man and you're and you're raising kids in this time. You know, you're you're back at uh, you know uh, wherever whenever you had your first uh, your first child, and you were making the rules about social media. Like when, like what age would you say is okay? 18, 20? Like when would you let your kids? start on social media if it were if it were you right now and that is an incredibly intelligent question because we live in a technical world yeah right we have we have screens we live in a technical world so to be able and there are some parents who say they're never going to touch technology and you've set them up to fail right so it's being able to say i mean we, we live in florida russ and i want everybody's kid to know how to swim so let's picture that the internet is like this giant ocean and you have to know how to navigate. You have to know how to not you know, drown yourself. So I'm going to look at the age stage of my child. I'm going to put a screen in their hand around probably age four, age five. It's not going to have social media. It's not going to have access to the world. It's going to have the programs that I, as a parent, have picked to speed language development, to be able to speed. And I'm going to balance Coding. that with social development. We're going to go to, you know, Jimboree. We're going to go to play dates. So there's going to be a balance between screen time. Yeah. You know, everybody loves Peppa Pig, but then we're going to go to real time, screen time, real time. And why? Because then children are developing social skills 
And to Angel's point earlier, and we're going to get involved in some form of community. I love youth sports, church. There's different programs where we can go help feed homeless. And, you know, remember the Nathaniel's Hope. They do that walk around Lake Eola every June. We're going to get involved in special needs kids. So we're balancing real world with virtual world because that way the child learns how to navigate. Yeah. So I'm going to look at the age, life stage, responsibility of the child. Responsibility means do they brush their teeth, clean up their room? If they can't do basic household tasks, they're not ready to be able to have access to all of the temptations of the world. And and, and remember, for some teenage boys, they get lost in gambling as well. Hey, Dwight, Twi- I'm another. I'm just you know thinking of myself here for a second and my own experience and everything. And I will say that neither one of my kids really could care less about social media. I can't get my son to answer me on Facebook. He's like, Dad, I'm never on it or whatever. And my daughter's the same way. They don't really even care about it. What makes some people care about social media and some have no interest at all? It's a great question, and it comes back to something psychologically called attachment. Because if I feel attached and connected in my personal relationship right with my significant other if i feel attached and connected in the work that i do if i'm involved in community if i'm part of a neighborhood if i'm connected to family there are some people that because of connections and we see this especially i have so many friends in the latin community they're so busy with their family and i will say with their family drama because there's always some kind of drama going on right they don't have time for it because they're living in the real world. They got so much going on in the real world or trying to pay bills in the real world, trying to build a life in the real world, that the virtual world of some celebrity influencer, it's like, yeah, I've heard of that person's yeah. name, but I don't have time for it. Yeah. So do, do and, I, and that's why we want to plug into the real world. Do I, if, you're, if, you're a, if you're a parent and you're handing a toddler an iPad, are you a bad parent? A toddler, yes. See? Uh, I think school age because, and let's go back to, let's go back to, to, to brain. Now, if I'm handing them a screen that entertains them while I'm at the grocery store and it's got not the internet, it's got a, a game that's designed for brain development from leapfrog or some of the, the brain development companies. That's not bad parenting because we're living in a world of screens, right? The other part, let's look at number of hours that somebody spends on a screen. Because if I'm using the screen to be my babysitter, I had this conversation with somebody this week, and they said, well, what about a parent who's working two jobs? They're a single mom, they, and they, don't, they can't afford $2,000 a month for childcare. What's the solution? And here's what I want you to know, in a very complicated situation, this one is, there are a few simple solutions because that mom, if she got a livable wage, wouldn't have to work two jobs, would have more time for parenting, and wouldn't feel that strain of, I'm just trying to keep my kids fed, trying to keep my kids alive. Yeah. So there's a lot of moving parts to this. It does I'm feel never like, going to say somebody's a bad parent, though. It does feel like there should be like a separate world for like social media uh, for kids. And like, like I, I kind of like the the idea of like, all right, here's, here, here's in the way that we have a criminal justice system that's different for kids. Because like, you should be able to like look at it and go, all right, uh, whatever I said when I was 16, that's wiped out when I turn 18 because I am a dumb person, and uh, that is only going to hurt me later in life. Uh, so I like the idea of they're, they're in their own little box. I don't want kids in my internet as well. I had, I had the early version of the internet, and that was brutal. I'm using a dial-up, and I'm exposed to horrific things. I couldn't imagine just walking around my pocket, yeah. having access to all humanities, both good, but and let's be real, most bad. of the nightmare stuff at the same time. A lot of bad. Hey, uh, Dwight, uh, you're going to be on with our good buddy, uh, Greg Warmoth. Is it Friday you're uh, going to be on uh, uh, Channel 9 with him? We're recording on Friday for um, a central, a special um, Sunday Central to Spotlight, and uh, it will be on. Uh, I don't think it'll be this Sunday, but I'll get you the time so you can share with your listeners because we're going to do a, a thirty-minute deep dive with more than a dozen parenting strategies to okay. help your kids. Because the the one who says I'm lonely, everybody else has it. That's kind of true. Everybody else does have it. We want to solve chronic loneliness so they don't feel that desperate need to get a screen. They can learn how to find a real friend. Dwight Bain, thank you so much for always being willing to talk to us, man. We appreciate it, and uh, and, and thank you for everything you do, man. We appreciate it. Thanks, guys. Let it, Dwight. There you go, Dwight Bain. All right, don't go anywhere. When we come back, uh, we got a bunch of stuff. Don't go anywhere. You're listening to The Marshall Morning. Thank you, Dwight. Your 30 seconds of airtime awaits. The talkback feature on the free iHeartRadio app. Follow Real Radio 104.1, tap the microphone, and speak. From the Goldsmith Jewelry Shop Traffic Center. Shop the best quality jewelry and lowest price. Goldsmithjewelry.com. 
We're very slow eastbound on I-4 from Conroy Road to just before Cayley Street because of hazmat activity and an accident with two right lanes blocked. There's wreck northbound on Pleasant Hill Road at Green Tree Drive. A hit and run southbound on John Young Parkway at Oak Ridge Road. A crash partially blocking the right lane southbound on the turnpike approaching the Oakland Exchange. And wreck on northbound Boggy Creek Road at Lake Nona Boulevard. See traffic problems? Call the Valvoline Instant Oil Change traffic tip line at 866-676-8477. From the Traffic Center, I'm Daisy Ash. This report is sponsored by Rasmussen University. I had so many dreams, but life quickly got in the way. Then... Rasmussen University saw my true potential and gave me the support and confidence I needed to become who I am today. Rasmussen University. Learn more at rasmussen.edu slash Florida. I uh, think about getting engaged. Well, tell you what, you're going to want to go to the International Diamond Center. What really impresses me about the International Diamond Center is, is this company stands behind what they they sell and they make it so if you want to get an upgrade they're so confident about you know what they do if you want to get an upgrade they're going to give you 110 percent upgrade policy what is that well that is you know they allow you to upgrade your diamond and get a hundred percent 110 percent of your original purchase price to go towards the bigger diamond here's an example here's what i'm talking about let's say you paid six thousand dollars for your first diamond and now you want to upgrade to an eight thousand dollar diamond well here's what they'll do they'll give you sixty six hundred dollar credit towards the new stone and you just pay $1,400 for the new upgraded diamond. That's pretty cool, right? That happens at the International Diamond Center. When you purchase there, you're going to get that extra 10% upgrade from the International Diamond Center. Uh, International Diamond Center, uh, get a free service for life on any purchase, no charge ever for cleaning, sizing, or routine maintenance at the International Diamond Center. They're proud of their products and they stand behind their products at the International Diamond Center, locally owned, right? But international connections that you deserve so you have amazing selection and extreme value at the International Diamond Center. If you want to shop online, you can. Go to shopidc.com. That's shopidc.com. It's the International Diamond Center. Tax time means a much-needed cash bonus for many people. But for business owners, it can mean the opposite. Hey, this is R.C. Hill from R.C. Hill, Mitsubishi, and Deland. My accountant said I need to reduce my tax burden now. So I'm going to overpay for your old car because I'd rather give you the money than the government. Get up to $4,297 more for your old car than it's actually worth. No matter where you bought the car, no matter how many miles are on it. It's simple. Trade in your old car you hate driving and get a new car today like a Mitsubishi Mirage 43 miles per gallon lifetime warranty. That means most people can trade and lower their payment. Or let me double your tax refund up to $2,500. R.C. Hill Mitsubishi specializes in approving customers with below average credit scores. My goal this month is 100% credit approval. This month, my prices will not be beat. This sale ends when my accountant says enough is enough. I'm R.C. Hill at R.C. Hill Mitsubishi, Central Florida's first choice for new Mitsubishis. Two locations, Deland and now in Ocala. Or visit me at rchill.com. That's rchill.com. Credit requires bank approval. See rchill.com for details. Homeowners, are you ready to love your home again? Install Brick Paver can build eye-catching walkways, patios, or driveways. They can build custom fire pits for relaxing with your family. They even build outdoor kitchens and build retaining walls. Everything you need to create a perfect outdoor paradise. Install Brick Paver can do it with spectacular results. Go to InstallBrickPaver.com to see our amazing home makeovers. You can also get a free no-obligation quote for your outdoor project. Call for free information now. 407-337-4040. Call 407 407- 337 4040. Install Brick Paver is a family owned and operated company with over 20 years' experience and fantastic Google reviews. We are Orlando's finest family owned paving experts. Fire pits, pool decks, paver driveways, patios, and hardscaping. Install Brick Paver does it all. Call for your free estimate now. Get in early before our spring schedule gets booked. Call 407 337 4040. That's 407 337 4040. Do you have information about a violent crime? Help solve crimes with your anonymous tips at Crimeline.org. 24 hours a day, 7 days a week. Your tips make a difference. Say it here, it's anonymous at Crimeline.org. Paid by CSTF. I recently stopped by the Renewal by Anderson showroom right off Lee Road in Winter Park. And apart from the really impressive group of people that work there is the quality of the products. I couldn't believe how much noise was reduced by Renewal by Anderson windows and doors, especially being on busy Lee Road. That's because their windows and doors are built solid and yet so easy to open and close and clean. Renewal by Anderson is really a customer experience company. They just happen to sell windows and doors. 
fact, Renewal by Anderson has the most five-star reviews, and their products are backed by some of the strongest warranties you will find. Renewal by Anderson has a great offer to help you get started during the month of March. Buy one window and or patio door and get one 40% off. Plus, no money down, no payments, and 0% interest for 12 months. Visit rbafla.com. Some restrictions apply. Official partner of the Tampa Bay Buccaneers. License number CGC 1527613. Hello, America. It's Ted from Consumer Cellular, the guy in the orange sweater, and this is your wake-up call. If you don't have Consumer Cellular yet, now is the perfect time to switch and save. For a limited time, new customers can get wireless service for as low as $15 a month for your first year. Yep, the same exact nationwide coverage as the leading carriers for $15 a month for an entire year. What are you waiting for? Call 1-888-FREEDOM or visit ConsumerCellular.com and use code RADIO15. See ConsumerCellular.com slash first year 15 for promotional details. Look to Orange Buick GMC for your next truck at OrangeBuickGMC.com. We are professional grade. Broadcasting live from the injury law firm of Kaufman and Lind Studios. Why Kaufman and Lind? Because you deserve better. Contact them at whenyouneedus.com or dial pound 546 on your cell phone. This is WTKS FM HD1 Cocoa Beach, Orlando. Listen on your free iHeartRadio app for all your music, radio, and podcasts. Radio. Scene coming in uh, 77031. That's 77031. This obviously is something that affects everybody because look at all the text we're getting about uh, social media, banning social media for your kids. Uh, you know, how many hours a day do you spend on social media? Uh, and it's obviously a lot. Welcome back. I'm Russ Rollins along with Angel and Ryan and Amber Nova, all here today. Uh, trying to take in everything that uh, Dwight was just talking about. And uh, it is, and, and I had someone say, oh, Russ, uh, you don't know. Your kids aren't on Facebook, but I bet they're on Instagram. And I just texted both of them. And, and for whatever reason, they have no interest in any of that. And I, and I, know, and I know people, uh, of course, I'm talking about some people that are my age, so I understand my age is different than a younger person. Uh, people my age have no interest in social media at all. They could care less about it. They're not on anything. And, and we had a guy just text in now. Uh, Chris texted in, and he uh, he closed his uh, Instagram account and then his Twitter account. Uh, it's been a month. He says he's as happy as he's ever been. Yeah, like so, people like there are people there. There's people that are, you know, so, a little bit self aware and know that that's not their thing, and they're not messing with it. So you think it needs to, uh, about being self aware? When I asked Dwight about it, he's he, the way I think kind of the answer he was saying is some people don't feel connected. So a way of feeling connected is to be on social media. Uh, I think I, I well. Yeah, I don't, I don't, I didn't, I didn't hear it the same way that you heard that. Uh, there, there are, cause I think we were sold that idea that uh, social media was supposed to bring us together. Yeah. Right. That was the whole thing. And, um, I think right now in the days that we're in, you can see that social media is just as divisive as anything else. Well, no, I mean, when I asked well, how come some people or some kids or some people are interested in some aren't, and he said the ones that aren't have other things going on, They're, they feel connected in other ways Fair enough. so yeah, they don't yeah. have to connect social media-wise. Yeah. Um, uh, 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 yeah. The, the analogy that I, I that I, I, I try to use when we're having this conversation, because, I mean, people really feel strongly about this, and I understand it, and... And I, and I get it. And, and like for some people, it's just a political thing and then they see it as an overreach and then other people are like, oh, you can't tell me what to do and everything. I, I try to use this example, right? I've been to technical driving school. Yeah. I've been to, um, uh, I've taken um, basic level uh, race car driving uh, uh, sessions. I put in a lot of seat time behind a vehicle. I know my way around a car. Does that mean because of my skill set and because of what I know what to do with a vehicle that I get to go on these roads and drive the how the hell I want because I know that I'm far superior than everybody else? No. Yes. Right. No, it does not. No. I have to pass the same driver's license test as everybody else. I have to adhere to the same rules that are out there for everybody because of the rules that are out there for everybody on the roads yeah. is to protect all of us. So let me ask a question. And I hate God, I hate to get into political, but I just this is 
just going through my head and I have to bring it up. Okay, so I'm thinking, obviously, DeSantis signed this. He was all about it, right? So from his perspective, he's seen all the research, and all the research says this is bad mentally for children. He's talked, uh, the doctors and professionals have said, hey, this is bad for young kids' minds, so we're going to protect young kids by making this law. Hey, but yet, this children. is the, hold on, but yet this is the same group of folks that didn't believe that wearing masks was a good thing because they didn't believe the professionals, they didn't believe the doctors, they didn't believe the Fauci's or the whoever, and like, oh, you're not going to tell me to wear a mask, but yet we're going to vote to say, yeah, we're not going to let kids go. Like, like how? That's why, the complicated wh- world of politics. What is the difference there? There's no difference. This is just the latest boogeyman, and I got bad news for you, everybody. This is not constitutional. There's no way this stuff will hold up. It hasn't held up in courts across the around the country because in this country, we have this beautiful thing called freedom of speech, where the government's not supposed to limit you from what you can and can't do. But I'm asking, okay, but so, we're not so, limiting so, you so, as an adult. So, co- so uh, COVID, hold on, co- children COVID, have freedom of speech. No. COVID was an actual thing that mm. that doctors could prove was happening. And COVID was happening. This theory that uh, that social media is affecting children's brains is a theory. But I don't know it's proven. It has been proven. This is uh, the information when it comes to the scientific studies that are doing on the effect of our children. That is 100 percent science verified, a case study verified. This isn't uh, an opinion, uh, a people's opinion. So both things, though, were proven by doctors. But, we, but we're going to believe one set of doctors but not believe the other set of doctors. That's ridiculous. Again, that's po- again what you're you're trying to put sense to politics and what uh-huh. and, and all what you're talking is a political argument versus a common sense argument. Okay. Right? Right? Yeah. So politically, it didn't serve him to have to agree to that. So he went, he, he politicized. That's the difference when we, when people say, hey, we're going to politicize this issue, right? Again, politically, this is going to, this topic about, uh, about the internet works for him on a level of politics and it serves his base. Do, he, we don't know if he genuinely cares or doesn't care. Right. He knows that his base uh, is feels favorable towards this, and he and it'll help him garner some votes. It's because Republicans get destroyed on social media, and they know that they, that, that they come off looking like clowns. So they're like, "Oh, we got to stop." They know that kids generally don't go for their party in the first place. So they're going, they're going to be like, "Okay, well, let's take away this thing where people come at us all the time and do that." But this is one, like for me, like I don't like the government talking about what anybody's speech can do. This fault for me, you can be a parent, you can have your phone, you can have it linked to your kid's phone and see exactly everything that they're doing all times 100% of the day. And that if you want to live that life, do it that way. But I don't need Ron DeSantis or any other politician telling me or anybody else what I can and can't do on social media as long as I'm but within the safe. Is. It's, it's, it wouldn't, in, it wouldn't it's impact you at all. If I'm in within the safe legal bounds, my kids within the safe legal bounds, and they're yeah. not doing anything wrong, they can be on whatever. And so, then what is social media? Is Xbox Live social media? Is YouTube social media? Well, it's just yeah. having an internet forum social media. My son just got back to me. He goes, Dad, I, I'm never on Facebook, never on TikTok, never on Instagram. I go to the YouTube channel to watch you guys. <laughs> so YouTube, I guess, is is considered social media. Social media. This yeah. is people wanting to control speech. That's, but, but, uh, and then the, but, and the ultimate long run is that's what it is. But Ryan, let's say let's say you did adopt a kid, and then now there's a, this proof that hey, listen, a young kid, eight years old, on social media, it's bad for his development. At 100. I'm not letting my kid have uh, social media, and if I okay. and if I did have a, if they have if they have a phone. A, they're getting a regular flip phone. B, if they have some kind of tablet or something, guess who's looking over everything all day long? Because I know what I was exposed to as a kid. Like, I straight up know there was AOL chat rooms that were, like, pedophiles posing as kids. Like, Mm -hmm. that's that's a real thing that happened. You cannot have unfiltered access to the Internet as a child. I 100% believe that. But I also believe that that's the parents' job to do that and not Ron DeSantis to make. And this wastes taxpayer dollars because this is already being challenged. It's going to go through the court system, and it's a waste of time. And it's not the win that these people think it is. See, I don't want to fall into, no, I'm, I'm going to be against it because I don't like Ron DeSantis. I want it to make sense. And, and, and to be honest with you, I think I'm leaning towards this makes sense. I, I think it does make sense to say, hey, listen, you know, you got to wear a seatbelt. And there's a reason why you got to wear a seatbelt. We got to use a, 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 just like uh, Dwight was saying, you got to have a you know child safety seat because of this reason. You got to go and, out and get and, a driver's and, license. And, and I think I, I think I'm for this. I, I've listened to both sides. And I think that uh, I, I think it makes Makes sense to try to protect because there's a lot of parents that are bad parents and they'll just let them do whatever and and I I, I think it makes and, sense. And here's the other part of this, right? And and this is the part that we don't address at all. All of these companies 
whether it's the PlayStation, Xbox chat rooms, whether it's any of these social media platforms, yeah. right? We argue, oh, we want big business to do big business. So we want them to police themselves. We are here at this threshold because they haven't policed themselves. Right. We know for a fact, Ryan, that they have the technology to stop a lot of this. We know that they have the ability to control a lot of what goes on is when it comes to hate speech, when it comes they to the regulate same, the social media but, companies, not but, the people. Well, this is a part of it because every you know why they can't regulate the social media companies because they're in bed with them because they're selling them their advertising because they're selling them the the all the the false information all these things so they're not going to do that. Hey Amber, let me have you speak to what Dwight was talking about with young girls because it seems to affect young girls more than anyone else and young girls comparing themselves on social media to other girls. Uh, and, and you would be, I mean, like, you've got a lot of, you know, very mm -hmm. sexy pictures. So there's probably a lot of girls comparing themselves to you. What, what are your thoughts on that? Well, I'm also a 32-year-old grown woman. I'm not 15. I thought you were 21. Oh, well, actually, I'm 23. <laughs> <laughs> anyone asked. <laughs> not 23 still. Oh, um, oh, you just reversed the number. Oh, <laughs> oh that's a good one. That's what I did last year. A little delest delexic with my balloons. Anyways. Delexic. Um, <laughs> yeah, I was going to let that slide. Dyslexic, I know, I know. Okay, okay. I'm just messing around. No, around. no, but your thought, like, um, did you compare yeah. yourself to other, do you compare I yourself think, to other women? On I think all little girls go through that. And the, the problem is, like, when I was 13, I wasn't putting on fake eyelashes and makeup making myself look like I'm 18. Like, all these girls yeah. are comparing themselves to grown women, and they know how to do their makeup. And there's, ter there's all these videos online, how to do your hair and your makeup, and these I look at these girls, I'm like, she's how old? She looks like she's 18 or 21. Right. Um, so I do agree with, like, social media being where, like, if the little girls are being a more active part of their community, they're in sports, they're building their character, and they're not on social media all day long, just like, um, like I have nephews, and I'm like, you guys don't need to be on the video games all day long. You right. need to be in the movie. <laughs> like, I never saw anything for real until I was way up in my 20s. Like, so what do you think? I'm sure there's been studies. If you're 16 and you're seeing full-on porn now, man, it's got to give been you detrimental. False, sense, yeah. false sense of reality. It's, yeah. it's weirder that like the, the actual stats on it are like uh, the younger generations aren't having sex. It scared the hell out of them. <laughs> maybe, a li maybe a little bit, but then, then, then they're like the version that they see is that uh, it's the super aggressive version. So when they do get to it, they're not they're they're thinking they should go full like porn style. They, yeah. they don't understand that that's not real, and the reason they're not having sex, uh, Ryan, it goes and the studies are there to prove that is that it goes back to that isolation thing, and they're not connecting with uh, people. They're not young young dudes right now are not talking to girls face to face. Yeah, their social right? skills, their built, their character yeah. building, it's all. So they're yeah. watching the the hardest of hardcore porn out there. Yeah. Right. They're not actually talking to, uh, you know, the young uh, people face to face. Yeah. And then that's what they're building their idea of what a relationship or what a sexual relationship is supposed to be. But so that's what I'm saying. And that gets my ultimate point of the of the boogeyman. And like this is the current boogeyman. There'll always be a boogeyman. And it's always what about the children? The fact of the matter is our school systems. That is. A, a complete and utter failure at this point. This is where they're supposed to be learning and socializing and doing this kind of stuff. And what do kids like? They slap now tablets in the hands of kids, and that's ultimately detrimental well, as well because you you end up with this, a bunch of kids a that now can't read that b that that are supposed to be quote unquote computer literate but can't get are just stuck in Apple's ecosystem where they don't know how to even make a new folder to well, put files. But in. the problem is, and I'm talking you know talking to my daughter who's a high school teacher is as they're walking around you know in, in the hallways going from class to class bell rings going from class to class they're not talking to each other. Then they're no on phones the, in the school. On Why does the phone need to be in the school? Let me finish. Let me finish. As of right now, they're on their cell phone. And and they're, and they're watching our cell phone, right? So you're right. It needs to be regulated. I couldn't uh, have phone in the school. If I had a phone out in my school, Ryan, they would get the taken away. the reason there are phones, phones in schools school because, shooters, what because about the kids? parents Shoot. are Stupid. afraid of uh, the, so an incident The odds happened. of you actually getting in a school shooting I is actually super small Ryan, in the first place. I understand place. what it's you're saying, but it's, it's distracting to the actual class You're not going to put process. the toothpaste back in the tube, though. You can 100% put the toothpaste back Name in the tube. Name an example that that's ever happened in history. Name an example that says, hey, don't have phones in school. Name an example that 
that's ever phone. happened in history. Name one an example that we've able, been able, as a human race, been able to put the toothpaste There's back no in the... There's no tube in the toothpaste. This is a complete lack of regulation. That you don't need the phones in the schools. Like, 100%. Yeah. Lock yeah, you, them you, up. You, you, can can have say, my... you, you can say it all you want, but there's a parent that's going to, you're not going to tell me what to do. Exactly. My kids Again, it's, my, it's my freedom. freedom. Can't I live in America. America. It's, it's my freedom to do that. It's my freedom to have social media then. If there's a shooter, I want my kid to be able to call me, and I don't care what the school is. Their school should have a system in place that doesn't involve people on cell phones. Well, I will say this. Uh, just uh, as an example of I don't just go by whatever uh, party says, I agree with Ron DeSantis on this one. Now that I've listened to both sides, uh, I it think it won't I think work. It's, this I think is completely should... unconstitutional. But it's, I don't think it is unconstitutional. It 100 I think that's the fourth state that's been that's done it. And the other three had it struck down. Uh, it's been oh, they'll, they'll rewrite it. They'll fix it. It'll get, the okay, keep are, wasting our money. Keep uh, wasting our money on taxpayer nonsense when it's like, that's not the problem. You're going after the thing that isn't the problem. Yeah, you, but you're not ever going to make it, uh, parents be good parents. It's not this, okay, then go after the social media companies and make like, okay. rules for them. Name me a politician that's going after them. Both the left Why and the right. Why can't it happen? You're, left you're, and the just right. Just throw my hands up in the air like, it can't happen. No, you no, can't no, put no. toothpaste back left in the, the bottle. Left and the right, neither one of these political parties are going after them. So on a local level, on the state that I live in, my particular the particular governor of this state is trying to do something. And I kind of agree with what he's doing in this particular issue. I do too. Yeah, I got I to gotta say. All right. We're going to take a little break. Uh, don't go anywhere. You're listening to The Mosh of the Morning. Real Radio is on Instagram at Real Radio 1041. Sponsored by the Law Offices of Anajar and Levine Accident Attorneys. Have you been in an accident? Call the Law Offices of Anajar and Levine at 1-800-747-FREE. That's 1-800-747-3733. Eastbound I-4 remains slow from Conroy Road to just before Cayley Street because of an accident with hazmat activity. Two right lanes are blocked here. A crash partially blocks the right lane northbound on John Young Parkway at the Greenway. There's a wreck on northbound Pleasant Hill Road at Green Tree Drive. Southbound Florida's Turnpike has a crash on the right shoulder approaching the Oakland Exchange. And there's an accident on Vineland Road at Radabaugh Way. See traffic problems? Call the Valvoline Instant Oil Change Traffic Tip Line at 866-676-8477. From the Traffic Center, I'm Daisy Ash. This report is sponsored by Smoky Bones. At Smoky Bones, we say, let's dig in. Come sink your teeth into house smoke irresistible perfection. Like our Bones Bar Bites menu. With wings, burgers, and more starting at just $5. Smoky Bones. Meat is what we do. Dine in only at the bar. This ear full of real radio is brought to you by Crimeline.org. Give a tip anonymously. Join us for our 2024 iHeartRadio Music Awards, live from the Dolby Theater in Hollywood. Monday, April 1st. Watch on Fox, starting at 8 p.m. And listen on the free iHeartRadio app. Tesla Apprentilast is a proud partner of the iHeartRadio Music Awards, a celebration of artists and the fans who got them there, the fans who make the music truly come alive through their energy and positive vibes. To the fans that make live music possible, we salute you. Are you a business owner, CEO, or responsible for marketing? If you are, iHeartMedia can help you reach your goals and find new customers. We reach more consumers in your target area than anyone else and we can give you access to those potential customers more cost-effectively across radio, digital, podcasting, and social. We'd love to show you how iHeartMedia can work for you. From your cell, dial pound 250 and say keyword, great results. That's pound 250 and say great results. Looking to sell your car, truck, or SUV? GiveMeTheVin.com makes selling your vehicle fast and easy. GiveMeTheVin.com is AAA rated by the Better Business Bureau and has thousands of positive reviews on Google and Facebook. GiveMeTheVin.com, they offer a 60-second bid process, pressure-free service, and a free pickup. Just click on GiveMeTheVin.com and get your check on the spot. Did you know your life insurance is an asset you can sell? I'm Jay Jackson, CEO of Abacus Life. For almost 20 years, Abacus has been purchasing life insurance policies from seniors just like you. And at AbacusPays.com, we've created a free policy value calculator so you can find out the worth of your policy in just seconds. There are no fees and no obligations. Get real value from your life insurance when you need it with Abacus. Learn more at abacuspays.com. 
Spring is in the air, but so are airborne allergens like tree pollen, grass, mold, and ragweed. If spring allergies keep you trapped inside, then you need Navage Nasal Care to keep you breathing clearly and enjoying all the beauties of spring. Navaj helps clear nasal passages that are often clogged because of seasonal allergies. Navaj gently flushes a pure, refreshing saline solution through your nasal passages to clear out congestion, sucking out that springtime pollen and other irritants trapped in your nose. Navaj springs into action quickly, helping you breathe more clearly in just 30 seconds. And you don't need a never-ending cycle of decongestants that can leave you feeling drowsy. Navaj is the fast and easy drug-free allergy solution that helps you breathe easier, sleep better, and feel healthier. Get Navaj today so you can get outdoors and enjoy your favorite springtime activities. Navaj is available online at navaj.com or in stores at Walmart, Walgreens, CVS, Rite Aid, and Target. Navaj, N-A-V-A-G-E. Breathe easy. Hey, baseball fans, did you know that Fubo has the most MLB games you can get without cable? That's right. Only Fubo has the broadcast networks and regional networks you need to watch your home team all year long. Out of market? Don't worry. Fubo has MLB TV, too. Watch on all your devices at home and on the go. Baseball season is finally here. Get Fubo today. Start streaming FuboTV.com. That's F-U-B-O-T-V.com. When couples come into International Diamond Center looking for engagement rings, they have lots of pictures from websites, from Pinterest, from designers they love, and 99% of the time, we have what they want. The brands that we carry are the brands the consumer asks for, the the girls ask for, your future bride asks for. IDC owner Keith LeClaire explains how IDC is always on the cutting edge because we partner with the world's leading designers, names like Takori, Viraggio, Henry Dossi, and dozens more. Fashions come and go, but why do some brands stay forever. It's because they stay relevant. IDC was chosen by these acclaimed designers, in most cases, as the exclusive retail partner in the region. We try to provide the best of the best at the most current merchandise in the market today. International Diamond Center, giving you access to the most sought-after brands in the world with a five-star shopping experience with no compromises. We want people to feel comfortable, relax, educate them, give them high quality for the right price. Store hours and more at shopidc.com. Are you over 30 and putting off life insurance? It's time to get a quick quote from Ethos, a better, easier way to get term life insurance, all online with no medical exam. Answer a few health questions and you could be approved for up to $2 million. Isn't it worth 10 minutes to help protect your family's financial security? Ethos, up to $2 million in coverage with no medical exam. Some policies as low as a dollar a day. Answer a few health questions and get your free quote at checkethos.com. That's checkethos.com. The free iHeartRadio app has over 100 commercial-free stations waiting for you to explore right now. Like Lost 80s, playing those songs you forgot you knew from the 80s. Gotta get back in time. Remix is the time. Yeah. You better be good. Duran Duran, Huey Lewis, Tina Turner, and more, all commercial-free. Just open the free iHeartRadio app, search Lost 80s, and listen now. iHeartRadio. Free never sounded so good. For state planning made easier, call TK Law at 407 834 4847. This hour of programming is brought to you by My Home Builders Network. Need new windows? Then you need Mike and his team at HBNUSA.com. Radio. Go on sale Friday at 10 a.m. for the Monster Brew Bus. It's going to be a great time. We're going to Brew Lando Brewing. First stop will be at 1130 over in Hofner. Then we're going to go over to Toll Road Brewing Company in Ocoee. Then we're going to Claremont Brewing in uh, in Claremont. It's going to be a great time. Uh, I'm going to be on the bus. Boat of Big Man Roads will be with us. Uh, Angel and Ryan and Jack Bradshaw. Going to be a lot of fun. 
Get your tickets. You're excited about it, right, uh, Angel? I know you. you oh, put, absolutely. This is gonna you be put fun. this puppy together. Yeah, it's gonna be a lot of fun. Uh, looking for again with a couple of these places. We've had their beers, but we haven't been to their locations. So Brulando's gonna be a fun time, and then also going to Toll Road Brewing. I'm mm-hmm. excited to be going there. We we've had their uh, some of their beers in the past, but uh, Ryan's been mm-hmm. out there, and it's a really cool vibe. And I want to go out there and, and you know take monster listeners, and you guys can meet up with us at any of these locations. Yeah, if you can't get on the bus, because there's only 50, 60 people, or I think 55 people 50. that can get on the bus. Uh, if you can't be uh, on the bus, join us at one of the locations. We're letting you know what time we're going to be there. Bolt, the bus will roll up there at 1130 at Brulando. We'll roll up about 145 at Toll Road Brewing in Ocoee. And at 4 o'clock, we'll be at Claremont Brewing. So please meet us at one of the locations. It's going to be a lot of fun. Uh, okay, so another uh, issue that, the, that our country has is obesity <laughs> seems to be an issue. Uh, what is it you think is missing from McDonald's. Let's say you go to McDonald's and oh, you, and I heard you, this deal, and, dude. And you want and you want to eat. There's a, a. I'll tie this in for you. There, Amber Nova, who is a professional wrestler. Uh, there. Who do you think McDonald's is tag teaming with? Uh, th- this is a, a a pretty pretty big tag team, dude. And it the was first such thing a, I thought was, man, we're all gonna get fatter. It was such a huge deal that this other company's stock went th- went up yesterday because of the announcement of the deal. Oh, it went up. Yes. Do you know who this is, Ryan? You know who we're ta- you know what we're talking about. Oh, I do not. You do not. Okay, so let's say you go to McDonald's. You have yourself a good old Big Mac, and you get some fries, and boy, you're feeling. But now you want something sweet. What is it you think you would order? And they already have plenty of sweet items on their menu. Yeah, you hot apple pie. Yeah, they got good. that. They got the shakes. They got shakes. Uh, all that kind of stuff. But, but you know, I need something a little, uh, <laughs> something else. I need, I need to really kick it in. I, I need my sugar high. What do you, what do you think? Who do you think McDonald's is tag team with? Uh, the Macho Man Randy Savage. No, right? no. Uh, brand, a brand, a brand, a brand, a brand, a brand. Uh, d- 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 Ois, Oreos. Oreos. Oh. Go, that's a good guess. It's oh, let me put right. them in the flurries already. Though. What do you think? Uh, what do you think, Amber Nova? Who do I you think? think McDonald's is tag teaming with? Uh, when you want to, you know, get that little sweet. Is after. it in another fast food chain, or just like what he mentioned, like a candy or something? Like a, you just take a guess. I don't know, Krispy Kreme. Krispy Kreme. Wow. People love that stuff. It is Krispy Kreme. Krispy Kreme and McDonald's are now tag teaming. Uh, The original glazed donut will be available. The chocolate iced and sprinkled donut available. The chocolate ice, it says chocolate iced uh, cream filled donut will be available at at McDonald's. Mm. You get your your coffee and your donut. Was there anyone you think that said, listen, we're already, look, I like McDonald's a lot. Like if I'm going to do a cheat meal or whatever, it'll be Big Mac all the all all the time. Uh, but do you think anyone sat in a meeting and listen? We're going to be perceived as we're the reason America is obese. Did anyone? <laughs> you think anyone mentioned that at all? No. Because once again, it's your own. Like like you've got to decide whether you order it or not. It's up no. To let's you. censor it. <laughs> you think the censored. government has said you can't do it. Can't be fat anymore. You Illegal. No no more fat people. Uh, man, uh, that listen. It makes it convenient. And the, what a good what a good idea for Krispy Kreme. Mm. No, that's what I'm saying. Krispy Kreme mm. stock overnight went uh, went up. Oh, yeah, uh, yeah they, I mean, they, this was a, a great partnership for uh, for them. So, um, what I not is Krispy Krispy Kreme a Florida company, a Florida based company? I thought it was. Uh, yeah, that's what because I, I remember. I remember Jimmy Buffett had something to do with it at the beginning. Like when they opened the Krispy Kreme down here on, on in, Mills. In Winter, on Mills somehow Jimmy Buffett was involved. I think he was part owner, and it was so packed. I mean, there were lines yeah. down. And you, you know, you couldn't get in. And when that when that light comes on, and you know it's hot and fresh. Uh, look, I I do love some Krispy Kreme. I can't eat them anymore. No, they're from the like the Carolinas Is and it? Tennessee area. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, well, God bless them. And now you got uh, McDonald's and Krispy Kreme tag team. And yeah, I was under the impression, Ryan, up until yesterday, that it was always a Florida-based company. And then when I heard them talking about how the stock went up, and, and they had mentioned. Uh, where their home base was, and it wasn't a Florida city. Yeah, yeah. They, they started they started up there near the Ohio River, and then moved to uh, Nashville, Tennessee, and then they opened a store in Winston Salem, North Carolina, because the guy's favorite cigarette, Camel Cigarettes, was headquartered <laughs> nearby. God bless him. That so, is a real story on Wikipedia. <laughs> Dude, <laughs> smoking camels <laughs> and <laughs> eating donuts. <laughs> Nothing have, like a Krispy Kreme and a camel in the morning. Uh, they'll have Krispy Kremes <laughs> in all of the McDonald's nationwide, <laughs> full availability, uh, and they're saying starting in 2020. 26. So by you know, the beginning of next year, every time you go to McDonald's, you can get yourself a Krispy Kreme. That's a that look, man. That's 
brilliant for a, both of them. <laughs> I think it's, it's pretty brilliant. All right, we got to take a little break. When we come back, we got friendly Ray Trimley here with us today. Don't go anywhere. You're listening to the Mantras of the Morning. Real Radio is the Jim Colbert Show. Silly and stupid, but full of integrity. The Jim Colbert Show. Weekdays at 3 on Real Radio 104.1. This weather report is brought to you by Mills Air. Good morning and happy Wednesday. I'm Fox 35 Storm Team Meteorologist Jessica Dobson with a check of your forecast. And for today, we'll expect some increasing shower and thunderstorm chances, mainly during the afternoon hours and especially for our northernmost counties. Temperatures will be on the warm side as well, warming into the low and mid 80s for highs. As we look ahead towards tomorrow, a cold front arrives, keeping those rain and storm chances around over the course of late Thursday morning and into Thursday afternoon. From the Fox 35 Storm Team, I'm meteorologist Jessica Dobson. This report Report is sponsored by Wawa. Wawa's new built to order wraps are here. It's all the flavor you love, wrapped up and ready to move with your day. Try an Italian or bacon ranch chicken steak wrap today. Gotta have a Wawa. Tax time means a much needed cash bonus for many people. But for business owners, it can mean the opposite. Hey, this is RC Hill from RC Hill, Mitsubishi in Deland. My accountant said I need to reduce my tax burden now. So I'm going to overpay for your old car because I'd rather give you the money than the government. Get up to $4,297 more for your old car than it's actually worth. No matter where you bought the car, no matter how many miles are on it. It's simple. Trade in your old car you hate driving and get a new car today like a Mitsubishi Mirage 43 miles per gallon lifetime warranty. That means most people can trade and lower their payment. Or let me double your tax refund up to $2,500. RC Hill Mitsubishi specializes in approving customers with below average credit scores. My goal this month is 100% credit approval. This month my prices will not be beat. This sale ends when my accountant says enough is enough. I'm RC Hill at RC Hill Mitsubishi. Central Florida's first choice for new Mitsubishis. Two locations Deland and now in Ocala. Or visit me at rchill.com. That's rchill.com Credit requires bank approval. See RC you know you should clean your carpet and tile, but did you know there's a right way to clean? Russ Rollins here for Zero Res, and they have figured it out with their patented process that leaves zero sticky, soapy chemical residue behind. They bring their own special ZR water because it cleans better, and it dries faster, and it's safer for kids and pets. So, no hooking up to your water. Mention my name, and you get 20% off your tile and grout cleaning. And carpet cleaning is only $49 per room. Go online to OrlandoZeroRes.com. That's Zero Res, spelled forwards or backwards it's the right way to clean do you have three ex-wives and your current trophy wife wants a life insurance policy three times the size of the policies you had to purchase for your previous mistakes if so you need to call big lou at term provider 800-511-3535 big lou is intimately familiar with your problems and if you're 50 or 60 years old and in reasonably good health a one million dollar policy should only cost about a hundred to two hundred dollars per month Big Lou may have a solution for your previous policies as well. You may even save enough money to lighten the load on your new $1 million policy. Remember, call Big Lou. He's like you, except he's only on number two. Call Term Provider, 800-511-3535. That's 800-511-3535. For a million dollars in term life insurance that you can live with, call Big Lou at 800-511-3535. The number one cause of accidents is distracted driving, like cell phones, eating, and playing with the radio. So leave it right here on Real Radio. Injured on the go? Just call Mo.com. Mo DeWitt, Orlando's injury attorney. You know what happens when a smart group of medical professionals get together and commit to a technology designed to relieve your aching joints without surgery? It's called QC Kinetics. And this guy knows the power of a solid team. Emmett Smith, football legend and dancing with the stars champ. This elite medical group, some of them orthopedic doctors, got together and said, why are we prescribing so many medications? Why are we sending so many people to surgery in droves? Let's change this. The answer, natural biologics, our own healing properties. And the outcome is the country's largest provider of non-surgical regenerative treatments, QC Kinetics. Actually, the real outcome are the tens of thousands of patients who finally got their quality of life back without surgery. Thanks to QC Kinetics. Call QC Kinetics, 689-244-7980. That's 689-244-7980. In Orlando, Winter Park, the Villages, and Lake Mary, 689-244-7980. 
pizza's here. Oh, great. I'd love some, but I'm worried about my stomach issues. If you're worried about having diarrhea, gas, bloating, stomach pain, or loose oily stools, it may not just be stomach issues. It could be a condition called exocrine pancreatic insufficiency, or EPI. With EPI, the pancreas doesn't release enough enzymes to break down food, but EPI is manageable. Use the symptom checker on identifyepi.com and talk to your doctor. That's identifyepi.com. Sponsored by Abvi. Hey, let's get out of here. With Audible, we could root for a lone astronaut as he tries to save Earth from disaster. Maybe go for a run with the founder of the world's biggest sneaker brand. We could get the tea on the real-life media mogul succession drama. Or find out what life is really like for an Oscar-winning actress. I mean, with Audible, we could go anywhere. There's more to imagine when we listen. Hear the latest audiobooks, podcasts, and originals at audible.com. Hi, my name's Charles. On my way to work, I was struck by a tractor trailer. I called attorney Glenn Clausman for help. He got me to really good doctors. I don't think it's right to be bragging on a billboard or TV about getting millions of dollars for getting hurt. However, I will say Glenn Clausman got me a great settlement quicker than I thought possible. I'm very happy with the results, and that's why I'm doing this. Call Glenn Clausman at 407-917-1718. His website is K-L-A-U-S-M-A-N-Law.com. Car crash, call Clausman. Office, Winter Park. Real Radio is Real Music Weekends. Real Music Weekends. This weekend on Real Radio 104.1. You see me stressing over here? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, Ray, I love friendly Ray Trendly, yeah. but he brings in his own headphones, and he's got the thing where the the the, line, the, the cord to the headphones is all tangled, tangled. And, and you're trying to untangle it for and, him. And, and I'm trying to untangle it, but it's so Someone tangled. needs to let Ray know that that's not how you store headphones. I know. I'm, I told him. I said, I'm going to give you a class after <laughs> this segment on how to store your headphone uh, 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 line. Hey, Ray, how you doing? I'm doing well. How you guys doing? <laughs> that would drive me nuts. It, it has literally never bothered me. <laughs> uh, uh, you know, I am. Um, you know, everybody, I'm sure you, do you have little idiosyncrasy things that, I, that do get on you? So absolutely. His calves. So, uh, well, one, my calves, absolutely, 100%. Damn, gotta bring um, those up. N- <laughs> now, now I'm super embarrassed because Amber's going to want to see him and I'm not going to want to show him to her. Um, but, uh, you, you know, so a, a weird thing that I have is every week at the end of every week, um, I have to clean my office. Like right. I, I dust it. Um, I got one of those glass uh, floor protectors. Yes. Which, which is great. Yeah, yeah. I got other right than here. the fact that uh, I'm so OCD, I take Windex to it at the end of every week and I take all the feet prints off of it. Okay. I vacuum everything. Um, so You're like talking that, hot talk to Russ right now. Yeah. yeah. Like, this is all turning Russ on. You know I that. Have wood polish. I polish my wood desk and my. Well, wow. now, right, See, Ray, now, now Ryan's in. Even though Ray obviously is infinitely smarter than me, we have a lot of things in common. We, we both, do. We both wrestle. We both play football. We both like uh, things like that are clean. Like tongue kissing. Uh, you know, uh, you don't like so, tongue kissing? You know, each other. Oh, gotcha. Uh, I was going to say, man. Anyway, anyway, we both ignore Ryan Holmes. It's like you know we have so much, so much in common. You know, I actually felt bad. I was, um, I was listening to the show from a few weeks ago because there was something that uh, was said, and I was like, oh, I want to go back to that. Yeah, and um, and I was like, man, I've been really mean to Ryan lately, and I think it all comes from the Christmas presents when I gave him that great prank gift. Yes. Um, What'd you give him? Uh, it was the signed baseball or basketball card, uh, mm-hmm. and every, everybody else got uh, really dope gifts. And he's like, "Oh, I got a Bo Outlaw card." Well, it was so, so sad. Uh, it was, I thought it was great. I think he's the Hall of Fame worthy. I'm glad he's on there. He and is on I, the Hall of Fame now. My, I enjoy my basketball anyway, card. Anyway, uh, but yeah, I felt like I've been really mean to you, and it's all it's all started with that. I don't know. Yeah, um, it's probably because I try to schedule lunch with him all the time, and he's just too cool for me. Oh, he cancels. Yeah, he's awkward, cat. That's yeah. it. You know, don't don't take it personal. He's just an awkward guy. Oh yeah, that's hey. so true. We've we've had plans, and you just blow me off. Like, you just don't even text oh, me it's back. Not me. Yeah, no. My favorite thing is to like have plans and then break the yeah. plan. Like yeah. there's nothing better. He, he's a weirdo it's like, guy. It's like an orgasm for your <laughs> schedule. It's not fake. He's weirdo. So I, I've met some of his friends now, and we could start a side chat. Oh. And what we'll do is we'll go out to lunch and we'll just talk about him yeah. as if he's not there. 
Because he and won't we be. should invite you his wife, do that. though. There's group text that I'm not <laughs> even a part of, and I'm mad about it. So, uh, right. Ray, I saw you, you brought drinks in with today. I uh, did. did. Now, today is International Whiskey Day. So, in honor of International Whiskey Day, I brought Panamanian rum. <laughs> <laughs> oh, which, 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 man. I don't I don't know. Did you not look at the calendar? No. So that's what I said. I got, I got to get this calendar. I don't know what I know what you're getting for from. Christmas. You know now. what I do? Every, every day I'll go home and I'm like, okay, what is tomorrow? And and then I'll look it up and it'll have like five different things and, and I'll pick the one that just that I like the best, right? Like yesterday was uh, Live Long and Prosper Day. I'm a big Star Trek fan, so I All did right. that one. Today was International Whiskey Day, uh, but it's I don't think anyone's celebrating it other than us. But So, you know, we can go uh, whiskey, rum. Kind of the same, same color. Yes. Yeah, so, so it is. What is neat about this this uh, rum? As I uh, try to back into a uh, whiskey related conversation. How did you get hit your hands on some Panamanian rum? So, um, so my guy Sam at Five Star Liquor. He also has the uh, the Triple R whiskey. Triple R blended whiskey. Good, um, he's a good man. He's a very good guy. Uh, so every year he goes and gets uh, a barrel pick of some Ooh. rum, and so this is a weeded rum from panama and it's finished in a bourbon barrel um, oh, well, there's the so, bourbon so there's part. the whiskey connection there we go so imagine uh, ray Trent, like, you, you, that once one. again you and i are kind of the same we both yeah. wrestled so when I, you know and weight loss is a thing we think about it right so i always try to stay away from rum because i know it is sugar based yes do, do you think about that kind of thing um so i i just sent my best friend a meme who we wrestled together we played football together he's my also my dolphins connection and best friend uh and uh, there was a guy running away from the um, Ronald McDonald. And yeah. it was said, uh, you know, being in, in your late 30s and trying to act like you're in your early 20s with your diet. And, you know, um, and then obviously Ronald McDonald's chasing this guy down. Yeah. Uh, so the answer is, I do think about it. I repress that feeling yeah. and I drink and eat what I want. <laughs> Um, okay, all right. Well, so uh, anyway, I, I, I will try to. But yeah, but I do like some great rum. And now, is, is was this a special occasion for? Um, uh, by the way, Ray Trendley, TK Law, uh, uh, here with us. Uh, what was the special occasion? So I, I was thinking about it last night, and um, and toasts go back to ancient Greece, and mm. it was when you lose somebody that you care about, you pay honor to them, and um, and you do that with a toast, mm. and um, you know. The world is a funny place. Yes. And there are a lot of things that are outside of our control. And, you know, I think there's a tendency for people to want to control the things they cannot control. Um, and, you know, I think that it's always good to reflect back and all the positive things that somebody or some thing has performed for you in your life. And I don't think any of us would be here where we are today without those people and those things. And so, you know, just a quick toast to you know, the uh, people and places and things that have made us who we are. Okay. And we'll always remember them and um, just cheers. That's very nice. Uh, okay, cheers. I'll, I'll cheers that. The last time I did a shot of rum. Oh, uh, it's more of a ah, sipping yeah, rum. That's a sip. Yeah. <laughs> right. Uh, are you going right, to do this? Mine was the Dominican Republic. It was Brugal rum, and I was trying to out drink <laughs> Germans, and that was a terrible plan. So I haven't drank drum, rum since 2012. We'll give it a shot there. Oh, it's a that's got a that's got a bite Cheers. to it. That's for sure. What'd you think, Amber Nova? Damn. <laughs> I, oh, <laughs> Ryan. I just sipped. You, oh my gosh. I got Ryan. More. All right. Well, listen. Hot. It's a Wednesday morning. He's got to get through the day. Let, let's go back to uh, let's go back to something we were talking about, Ray. I'm, I'm yeah. curious. Right, Ray Trendley, TK Law here, uh, <laughs> yeah. and we we're Taking talking. The big man down. We we're talking about social media, and we we're talking about it with kids. <sighs> we're gonna, we're going to get past that now. Let's get past the 16 year olds and the 15 year. You know, let, let's go to grown adults. You are a divorce attorney. That's one of the things that you do. Yeah. How often does social media? Come up. Oh, this is in, weird. <laughs> I know. In divorce, and give me some Shots of the of rum. give me some of the great stories and divorce that, that happened uh, <laughs> during uh, during a divorce and social media. We're gonna cry before the end of the session. I'll tell you what. Um, so some of the most remarkable oh. things that have happened to me in the courtroom yeah. have happened as a result of social media. Like uh, I had a case, and it's it, the, the kids over eighteen now. It was a child custody dispute. It was a divorce. And my client thought it was a good idea to start a Facebook group with the daughter, the high school daughter, she was 16 at the time, with all of her friends. And in that high school group, she would invite all of the daughter's friends, even when the daughter wasn't at her house, to uh, come over for drinks. And oh. they could smoke some weed if they wanted to. 
And then, um, so she basically used her daughter, her high school daughter, as a way to get new friends. Maybe she didn't have friends when she was in high school. As a conduit, yeah. So she she had kids young. She had kids when she was young. Yeah. Um, and she was still a very young mother, even though she had a sixteen year old daughter. Yeah. And um, and I did not know about this. It kind of we kind of fell into it, so to speak, in trial. Where she says, oh, yeah, I am uh, part of that Facebook group. And I had no idea. And they used it as what's called impeachment evidence, which means they don't have to disclose it before court. They just have to produce some document that they can verify. Um, Oh, she hid this from you? She she hid it from me. And I said, there's a reason why they're overly confident. And and you're not telling me why. Like, there's nothing you're saying to me that gives me a reason for them to be so confident. And they hit us with this. And um, the judge had to leave the courtroom. It was so graphic. Really? It was so graphic. It was, um, it was, it was almost like something you would write to Penthouse and say, "This is what happened to me." Except you, the person writing, would be a sixteen-year-old boy that should not have been writing that story. Oh. Um, so the mom was doing very bad things. Oh, illegal things, we'll say. Illegal things, and it all came out on social um, media. All on social media. Damn it, man. And. Um, the chats, the threads, it was all very bad. So do you do you check, like, uh, from now, since that happened, when you have a client, do you check all of their social media uh, along with maybe the person that they're they're trying to get divorced from? So we, we have a social media policy. Yeah. So, one, you can't uh, destroy evidence, right? That's also a crime. And so if— uh, no, is, is deleting pictures— That's destroy- destroying evidence. That's destroying evidence. So what you can do, right, this is part of our policy, yeah. is you can um, not make it public, right? That's one thing you can do. Mm-hmm. You can limit the friends that you have and the access that they have to whatever content you're posting. Oh, so if, if, you, if you have contact uh, content on social media, on Facebook, uh, you can't delete it, but you can go and make it not public. Correct. Okay. You, you should also, you know, again, our policy says this, you should also back that information up in case it does get accidentally deleted or destroyed because... Again, we want to avoid any kind of criminal prosecution. Mm -hmm. But most importantly, and you've probably heard these ads before, be careful what you post online because it can and will be used against you in court as if you're telling the judge verbatim exactly what it is because we call that a party admission that's outside of the rules of hearsay. And so, you know, when you say bad things or dumb things, it gets to the judge easily. So let's say somebody uh, posts, they're mad, they're mad about something, and they post something real quick, you know. Also bad. And, and, then, and then let's say 10 minutes later, they realize, ah, oh, that was bad, and they and they take it down, right? But yet somebody screenshot it and caught it. it as far as the ju- a judge would be, because it, it was up. I say the internet is forever. Oh, man. Right? And, and I've had more than... Probably more than two or three dozen, more or two, maybe not three. Yeah, dozen cyber stalking cases using social media. You know, people go on a date, it doesn't end well. They start sending messages. They say, "Hey, Ryan's really a lousy date. He didn't even show up You're to doing the second it again. and fourth date." Um, <laughs> You're doing it again. Um, he can't help himself. Uh, Sorry that I'm so in demand that you weren't able to make the cut. Oof, because Brett wasn't make the cut either. No one really makes the cut. You That's know what my fair. favorite thing is, Ray? Staying at home doing nothing. Let me ask you this, Ray. Uh, so, okay, so you, you can't delete evidence ahead of time for divorce, right? Like, you're, you're, in the, you're in the divorce. You can't just go deleting evidence. But what if somebody's, like, six months out in their brain? They're like, I'm, I need to get divorced. I'm just going to start deleting stuff now, not say divorce yet. Right. And then come down the line, and then, bam, Good call. all of that is out. Is fair. That's, that, that's fair play, right? Nope. Uh, no. So it's even in anticipation of litigation, and that definition well, is. I wouldn't oh. tell you that that's what I was yeah, doing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We're not telling you that. Like, in, 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 like, let's say in your mind, you're like, look, I know. I, I know you're my attorney, but I'm not going to tell you everything. I ain't telling my attorney nothing. I ain't even telling my best friend. But in my head, I'm about, I'm about done, so I'm going to start deleting stuff. Can you do that? As the lawyer on the radio right now, I'm going to say <laughs> you should absolutely <laughs> tell me everything. Um, do people, I, mean, I imagine, like, a lot of people, like, much in the way I lie to my doctor all the exactly. time, lie to you. So that's the analogy I actually use with clients is, hey, listen, when I go to the doctor and they ask me how much I weigh, I always flub five pounds lower than what I know I of am. Of course. Right. But, You're not uh, going to weigh me. I'm going to lie. I, I'm going to lie to my doctor, right? It makes perfect logical sense. No, Pe- that doesn't. Don't ever lie to your doctors. <laughs> I don't ever lie to my 
doctor. My doctor barely even knows her, my name. I don't even use my real name in my doctor. She obviously didn't listen to the story about me drinking whiskey with these guys right before I got blood work. <laughs> right. And then my doctor oh. accusing me of being an alcoholic. Oh, okay. Uh, and Amber Nova, I bet you lie to your doctor. Uh-uh. Uh, you get drunk this weekend? Uh, sure did. How do you I'm, I'm not going to go to the doctor and get my blood work when I'm drinking. Ask her the dentist yeah, question. Yeah, 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 ask her the dentist question. You go, to, you go to the doctor, right? Uh -huh. And the doctor, they get, they get the questions and it says, hey, have you have you ever smoked? What do you put? Yeah. I you have. put, yeah? Way oh, to no, have higher I insurance. No, do yeah, you I smoke? Say, life I insurance. don't smoke. Have I yeah, ever smoked? Have, have you ever, the question isn't that. The question is always, have you ever smoked? Yeah, I always tell the truth on that one. Or how much do oh, you look drink? Oh, look at her smiling. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. You no. liar. You little liar girl. I don't smoke. Okay, you're a professional wrestler. Have you ever taken steroids? No. I'll tell you what. <laughs> that pregnant that, pause. That, that was Holy smoke. That was very no. What the hell just happened there? What happened is she had to go, is HGH um, a steroid? <laughs> I technically it's not even a steroid. I've never lied to my doctor. Anyway, uh, so so you're saying that people do lie to their attorney thinking that. All the time. Yeah, yeah. And do you know, can you tell, do you have a, like a lie detector? Do you know uh, when Sometimes the stories don't match up and I got to push people a little bit harder and kind of approach it from different situations. Um Sometimes uh, people are really good at lying. And, and you know, um, what's the benefit? Or like, wh what is the perceived benefit that when, when people, because here's like my understanding of this, right? There's only a couple people on earth that I'm going to be 100% truthful with, right? One of them is my doctor and the next guy is, is my attorney, right? Because if I'm in front of you and I've done some dumb S then I need to give you all the dumb stuff that I've done. Sure. So I, I don't understand You're that. You're being logical. Well, no, that's what I'm saying. I don't understand the lot. Like, I'm, you are my attorney. I have retained you for a service. I'm out there wilding out doing dumb stuff. The person that I need to be able to defuse the bomb that I've created is you. Why would I not be 100% honest with you? So I think sometimes it's shame-based, right? People are ashamed of for what sure. they've done. Uh, um, I think sometimes people think they're the smartest people in the room. Mm. And, and so they they're trying to outsmart the lawyer and the judge. <laughs> well, and they don't realize that, and you know, this is a family law context mostly, but the person on the other side knows them for five years, 10 years, 20 years. They know all the stupid stuff that you've done, mm -hmm. and they can call BS. Can we say that word? Can we oh. say those initials? You can yeah, say, yeah, you yeah, say yeah, that. We, we used to have a show on the station called that. All right, perfect. The uh, BS, yeah. um, mm -hmm. So, you know, they can call you on that. And and they can um, and, and, and then they're gonna tell their lawyer. The lawyer's gonna say, "Let's do some discovery." They're gonna figure out, put the pieces of the puzzle together. And sometimes it's just circumstantial evidence. But now you look like a liar. Hey, so has been uh, has been a, uh, a divorce attorney been a lot easier since social media? Like, has it been like a total? <laughs> How I mean, many slam dunks have you had? I mean, it's probably like, well, this is a lot easier than it used to be. You, you know, some parts, yes. Yeah. Unfortunately, the same rise of social media, we've also seen cryptocurrency and, and, and a huge expansion in uh, open access to offshore accounts. So other parts of my job have become much more complicated. The forensic accounting part of my job yeah. and getting experts to find money has become substantially You're never going to find my money. I got it in accounts in the Caymans, man. Hey, it you, doesn't even matter. Yeah. Yeah. Have you, Him and I Diddy. Got, I got 14 <laughs> wow. different accounts. I would no. never say that sentence. Uh, Damn, sorry. he just compared I, you to I, Diddy. All right. Have you had clients where, <laughs> like, uh, the woman wants to divorce, the, or the, the other way around, where they found, like, uh, they got really mad because they found out he was looking at porn or she was looking at porn? Has that been an issue? Porn has been a really popular one, especially during COVID. Oh, because, really? Because, you know, people aren't leaving the house, and they're still consuming that content. Yeah. Oh, I thought you meant COVID-based porn, which I actually got into for a little <laughs> while. And I was like, oh, the cool, the mask helps the cleanup. I really I really don't try <laughs> to right. shame anybody's kink, but that's an interesting one. And then I'd really like to talk to you more about that, maybe with a therapist. <laughs> um, you know, never wanting to leave home. I didn't check. think I could develop uh, a COVID new fetish, porn but check. I did. Yeah. Uh, you guys are going to have to start having uh, Ryan appear from home, probably. Um, he's going to come in a bathroom. Well, and... guess what? If I'm at home, my other window in that i'm looking at covid porn <laughs> so listen when we come back ray and we always love to have you stay here for, uh, with us for a couple segments we can either talk about the nfl approving uh, some changes with the, with a kickoff or we could talk about p diddy and and them uh, uh, diddy. So, let's do diddy so, yeah so if you want to do yeah, diddy, I, can do diddy yeah. Yeah. I want to find out what was legal what was illegal about the way they or choice yeah. awards on my part or do you want to talk about uh, the the kickoff thing it's up to you all right i'll, I'll let uh, i'll let amber nova pick what she thinks is more fun um, I wouldn't say it's fun, but Puffy. I would 
I would, yeah, let's just go right. with I want to talk about how I used to be a smoker, but don't tell my doctor. Also, I Puffy. I was a smoker. All right, we'll do, we'll do Diddy and Puffy when we come back. Don't go anywhere. Whoa. You're listening to the Monsters of the Morning. All the cool kids are doing it, and you want to be like the cool kids, don't you? Well, don't you? The Talkback feature on the free iHeartRadio app. Follow Real Radio 104.1, tap the microphone, and speak. From the Goldsmith Jewelry Shop Traffic Center, lowest prices on the highest quality jewelry. Goldsmithjewelry.com. Eastbound I-4 is bumper to bumper from Florida's Turnpike to just before Cayley Street with an accident with hazmat activity blocking two right lanes. Northbound State Route 429 is very slow into south of West Road with a crash blocking the right lane. Southbound Florida's Turnpike remains very slow approaching the Oakland Exchange with a wreck on the right shoulder. And there's a crash on Vineland Road at Radabaugh Way. See traffic problems? Call the Valvoline Instant Oil Change traffic tip line at 866-676-8477. From the Traffic Center, I'm Daisy Ash. This report is sponsored by Rasmussen University. I had so many dreams, but life quickly got in the way. Then Rasmussen University saw my true potential and gave me the support and confidence I needed to become who I am today. Rasmussen University. Learn more at rasmussen.edu slash Florida. Hey, man, let me remind you, man, if you are in the market for a big green egg, the best place to purchase your big green egg is my great friends over there at Wasi's Meat Market. Not only do they have all the different sizes of the big green egg, they got all the accoutrements, all the extra things. If you want a cast iron grill to throw on there, uh, you want to throw on the different uh, like settings and whatnot, they have all that air there at Wasi's Meat Market right there in uh, Melbourne, Florida. Go check them out. A couple things I want to remind you about. What's neat about Wasi's? Not only do they have all the big green eggs, not only do they have the fantastic, fantastic uh, 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 meat market there and everything for uh, Easter, but they also offer the cooking classes. And the th- neat thing about the cooking classes is not only do they feed you, but they teach you everything that you need to do know about the big green egg and how to cook on the big green egg. And one of the coolest classes that they offer throughout the year is the Brisket 101 with Tommy T, Tom Curl. That's coming up on April the 7th. The reason that this is an amazing class is that this is a hands-on, all participants in the class will get a USDA prime brisket. You'll learn to trim it. You'll get your own Kai Pro Bonding Filet Knife. You'll take the brisket home. You'll do all that. You'll cook it on the big green egg smoker. You'll do all of that in this class, and that's what's awesome about that. That's just one of the many classes that they got coming up. I've just um, we got another uh, uh, couple classes that I will be DJing at, and I'll keep you guys up to speed with those as they come get closer. But go check that out. It's like a brisket 101 class. That's available to you right there on the wassiesmeatmarket.com website. Real quick programming note. If you are getting ready for Easter and you're taking, you need your ham, you need your roast, you need your steaks, you need your pies, you want to go ahead and give them a call, 321 252 Three three four eight. There is. They are closed on Easter Sunday. This is Easter weekend. Get your orders in early. They uh, will be open on Saturday. They'll be uh, and then they don't open again until Monday. So you got to get all your stuff uh, together. Get that in before Sunday. It's washingsmeatmarket.com's website. Follow them on Instagram. That's Washies Meat Market on IG. If you're looking for a big green egg, you got to visit my friends there at Washies Meat Market. You call that a precision stop? When a rookie stunt driver, just give me a shot, meets the trainer who thought he'd seen it all. Come on, focus. They'll soon find out that behind the wheel of the Nissan Rogue, with the power of VC Turbo and the most fuel-efficient gas-powered engine in its class, watch this, the protege can become a master. But this is no ordinary blockbuster. It's a Nissan sales event ad. Level up your drive with 1.9% APR financing for 60 months on the 2023 Nissan Rogue. Shop the Nissan sales event. Visit your local Nissan store and NissanUSA.com today. Auto Pacific segmentation excluding hybrids and electric vehicles. 2024 EPA fuel economy estimates from 28 city, 34 highway to 30 city, 37 highway for 2024 Nissan Rogue. Actual mileage may vary. For well-qualified buyers, 1.9% APR financing for 60 months on new 2023 Rogue and dealer stock example, 60 months financing at 1748 per month per thousand financed. Actual down payment may vary. Subject to residency restrictions and in-mat credit approval. Not all buyers qualify. Dealer contribution may affect actual price set by dealer. Contact dealer for details. N4124. With new doors by Renewal by Anderson, you can cut back on energy usage, boost your home's curb appeal, and increase your comfort. Renewal by Anderson makes that transition easy for you thanks to a selection of beautiful functional replacement doors that are as beautiful as they are convenient. I love pretty French patio doors, but in so many cases they seem flimsy and over time can warp, not to mention the security concerns that can come with them. Renewal by Anderson is better because every patio door is built with their exclusive 
Fibrex material, which is two times stronger than vinyl and features a five-point locking system, which improves energy efficiency and better yet, an increased level of security. Renewal by Anderson has a great offer to help you get started during the month of March. Buy one window and or patio door and get one 40% off. Plus, no money down, no payments, and 0% interest for 12 months. Visit rbafla.com. Some restrictions apply. Official partner of the Tampa Bay Buccaneers. License number CGC1527. Embark on a journey through the most absurd moments of the human story with Ridiculous History, the podcast that explores the bizarre corners of human existence, like the evolution of the toilet, the story of Comic Sans, or the exploits of the notorious Aaron Burr. Aaron Burr is like, one day, my life is going to be part of a musical. However, though, he probably didn't necessarily at this point think that he was going to be the villain. Listen to Ridiculous History on the iHeartRadio app or wherever you get your podcasts. People think Florida is salty because most of our state is surrounded by salt water. But it's the other states that are salty. Why? Because we get to enjoy McDonald's breakfast bagels year-round. You see, most parts of the country aren't as lucky as us and can't wake up to a steak, egg, and cheese bagel with a tender, juicy steak patty and savory grilled onions. Or a sausage, egg, and cheese bagel with a sizzling hot pork sausage patty. Or a bacon, egg, and cheese bagel with thick-cut applewood smoked bacon. Enjoy savory breakfast bagels only at McDonald's. Ba-da-ba-ba-ba. At participating McDonald's. When you're eating McDonald's spicy chicken McNuggets, take a moment to appreciate that they're back. And while you may be eager to reach for another McNugget, take a moment to let the spice settle. Because the lightly breaded tempura and blend of aged cayenne aren't just spicy, they're worth it. You can order ahead on the McDonald's app. ba da ba 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 but participate in McDonald's for a limited time. McD app download and registration required. This year full of rail radio is sponsored by RC Hill Mitsubishi, Highway 1792 in DeLand. Do you have AC needs? Turn to the experts at Carrier. Go to millsair.com. Portions of the following program are Broadcasting recorded. live from the injury law firm of Kaufman and Lind Studios. Why Kaufman and Lind? Because clients and character matter. Contact them at whenyouneedus.com or dial pound 546 on your cell phone. This is WTKS FM HD1 Cocoa Beach, Orlando. Listen on your free iHeartRadio app for all your music, radio, and podcasts. That's very happy. Remember, tickets go on sale on Friday at 10 a.m. for the Monster Brew Bus. We want to thank Wassies. Yeah. Wassies Meat Market. They're the sponsor of the Brew Bus, and I definitely want to mention that and thank Wassies Meat Market for sponsoring the Monster Brew Bus. It's always a big event. Uh, I'll be on the bus along with Bo the Big Man Rhodes. If you remember Bo from uh, from the beginning, uh, uh, he's always a lot of fun. People love partying with Bo. Angel will be on the bus. Of course, he put this whole thing together. He's done a great job. Ryan Holmes, Jack Bradshaw. And uh, any, any of you can uh, join us at any one of the locations. Brewlando on Hofner in Orlando, Toll Road Brewing in Okoe, and Claremont Brewing Company. Those are the three stops we're going to have, and we're looking forward to it. Tickets go on sale Friday at 10 a.m. Good luck. Yes, Angel. Russ, real quick. So we have some people texting in. So what's going to happen is this. You're going to go to Monsters.fm on Friday. Monsters or RealRadio.fm. And that you'll see the post there. You will purchase your tickets through that portal, and that'll happen at 10 a.m. on Friday. So uh, be ready, get on there, have your uh, browsers ready to go. By the way, friendly Ray Trendley here with us today. TK Light. Oh, I want to ask you about that. I don't know how much you want to get into it. I should have probably, probably uh, asked you about this before I did it live I on the air. I love it. Uh, but I know <laughs> I know Savannah got hold of you, and yeah. you were trying to help Savannah. Savannah has been living in a house that has black mold for some time now. And what we've learned uh, before we've even talked to you is that certain companies know what they can get away with and what they can't get away with. And they don't even really sometimes even pay attention to an attorney because uh, they know they can slip and slide and, and, and get away with it. She still has black mold in her house. She's sleeping in her house. She comes in here coughing because uh, it sounds like she's getting sick because of black mold. Yeah. And then you, I know that you have tried to do something about it. Can you tell us? Where we are with that. Yeah, we're making some progress. Um, we went back and forth with them for the last week and a half or so. Um, they've come out and done some of the work that needs to be done. 
The problem is, like any construction project, there's a lot more that needs to be done. So they're they're trying to lowball. They're trying to remedy the situation when it's convenient and Under deliver affordable over for them. Yeah. Um, you know, you know, I don't want to get too far into it, but I, there is progress that's being made. Good. Um, you know, he, just a big picture, like my editorial on Florida landlord tenant law. It's designed to help people get out of leases yeah. when bad situations happen. It's really not designed to um, remedy all the problems that tenants have when they've got landlords and management companies that are slow and less than diligent, and they're saying the right things and checking the boxes off to probably CYA. But we're keep we're gonna keep pushing. I'm I'm, I'm in touch with them probably every other day at yeah. this point. So I got, I got a guy here also wanted me to ask you about like what what do you think about if, when you know you're going through mo- uh, mediation and your wife is flaunting her uh, new boyfriend and then and, and dating and stuff on on uh, Facebook. I hate that for him, but. I love it as a lawyer, you know, <laughs> because, you know, um, this is before, that's before social media. I guess I looked at it the other day and I was like, man, I didn't realize Facebook's been around since 2000, 2000, 99. Yeah, anyway, um, so it, social media has been around as long as I've been practicing law. But um, I had a case, the wife came in, she's like, oh, I need so much money in alimony. I'm just so destitute. I can't afford to put food in my mouth. Right. She shows up. She got a Louis bag. She had Christian Louboutin shoes. She had a Gucci um, like leather case for her cell phone. And uh, I start going through, you know, all the things that she's wearing. We, we had a, a judge that um, didn't know any of these things, you yeah. know, from appearance. He he was a, an older man. Um, and I start asking her, I was like, "Hey, what's what's the fair market value of that? How much did you pay for that Hermes bag?" You know, and I'm going through all these things, and yeah. she's she's got like. Twenty thousand dollars on her body, and judge is like, "Yeah, well, you know, I, I think he could probably pay five hundred dollars a month." And she wanted like five thousand. So oh, I was wow. like, "Man, it's a game changer." So, um, you know, to your point in, in the guy's question, that stuff again, anything you say can be used against you, and that includes pictures. So she's she's flaunting the relationship could be a supportive relationship. Number one, number two, um, you know, sometimes that requires a little bit of a deeper dive into, you know, how they're holding themselves out. Um, you know, one of my secrets, you know, ooh, sharing a secret. Um, I talk to the neighbors. Okay. You know, like, if, if, if she's got a boyfriend and she says, hey, his name is Ryan Holmes, uh, I'm going to go to Ryan Holmes' neighbors. <laughs> Whoa! And I'm going to be like, hey, how often is she over here? And, you know, do you see her car when you wake up in the morning? Do you see it when you go to sleep at night? You know, um, has he ever talked about her? You know, I'm going to start asking those questions because, to me, if he, you know, because, you know, you know, guys are, we're all kind of jerks. Um, Whatever, s- speak for yourself. Some level. You know what, Angel, you are a sweetheart. Um, <laughs> um, but, uh, you know, guys talk and, and they say stupid things and it and maybe makes it sound like it's a more serious relationship. Right. Um, and, and that can all be really negative for her in the alimony conversation. Sure. Um, what, one last question. Uh, yeah. Text and service says, ask Ray this, please, for us. Uh, what age... Is it where a child can choose which parent they want to live with? 18. 18. That's yeah. it. So, so at 15, no. They can't say, I want to live with dad. No. That's one of the, that's one of the probably top five most common questions I receive is, is what age can kids make the decision on where to live? And the reason they can do live. it at 18 is because at that age of 18, that's when they become an adult. That's right. And, so, and that's what the law says. So what the court can do is the court can consider the testimony of the minor, minor child if the minor child is of sufficient age, maturity, and they understand um, the complexities of what testifying means, and if the court makes the determination that's in the best interest of the child for them to testify. And so a lot of times the court says, hey, I don't want to put the kid in between mom and dad and make a decision on who to pick right. because that's not in the child's best interest, and there's some scientific data based off that. Um, but, yeah, it's a really complex problem. And so, you know... Um, I, I, whoever that, that listener is who's text messaging, you can reach out to my office or you can shoot me an email at rtrendly at onefirmforlife.com. I've got some tips on how to address that specific issue. Okay. Um, because it, it is really hard, and, and I really um, I really understand and appreciate how hard it is to get a 16-year-old or a 17-year-old to do something. Yeah. I was not a very good kid. You know, I wanted to play sports. 
I wanted to hang out with young ladies. And smoke and, cigarettes. And I wanted to make some money. <laughs> um, and that's all I wanted to do when I was in high that's school. That's the most Miami thing you've ever said. <laughs> right? right? <laughs> right. <laughs> and, 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 and so my mom told me to do a lot of things. Yeah. And it wasn't until she got sick with cancer before I was like, all right, I guess I'll go to school and I'll do the things you want me to do because I felt guilty, you know? So <laughs> in, in, in a four minutes or so, uh, ex- Your mom's still explain what Delicious. happened. Oh, good. Okay. That is a happy ending. Explain what happened with P. Always. Diddy as much as you uh, can in four minutes. Um, so P. Diddy. So everybody knows uh, lawsuit got filed last November. Yeah. Really shocking allegations. You guys have talked about, you know. Um, so most recently, there's a Department of Justice probe that is investigating, I think, his son, and, and he's connected to this um, this scheme. And it's not uncommon for this to happen, right, where somebody is the, the perpetrator. They come up in all these facts. Um, and then, you know, it links to a, a bigger um, group of people. And, like a uh, Rico situation? You know, yeah, sometimes we call that conspiracy, really. I mean, yeah. that's, yeah. that's really what it comes down to. Well, that's to. what I was confused about because the, the news yesterday was blown up. It's like yeah. Prince Henry or Prince Harry uh, named in, in P. Diddy lawsuit, but it was just like showing that this is the level of access that Puff Daddy has. That's right. Yeah. yeah. So, and basically what they said is like, hey, we, we think that, again, it's, it might be the son or the nephew. I don't remember who it was, but um, they're involved in this directly. They're the one orchestrating it. But P. Diddy has the connections, right? Mm-hmm. So he's bringing in Cuba Gooding Jr. and and Prince Harry and, and all these people. Um, so they, they make a raid. And what they need for the raid is they need to have a warrant. And the warrant needs to be sp- specific to what they're looking for. And I think part of the concern, if I'm if I'm the, the Department of Justice, is the amount of force that they use. The way they handled his kids. The amount of force that they Damn. used um, can can be concerning, especially in what we call a motion to suppress, where you're trying to say level of force exceeded what was necessary but under the were, circumstances. There were a lot of guns on the premises, right? right? So that might be like, listen, they're, 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 we know they're well armed, so I guess, and and and, and it was and you don't know grown boys, you so, don't know what you're go- walking into, so yeah. I, like in that regard. But uh, Ray, I yeah, would say this. Or I would ask you this: um, When it comes to getting a search warrant, where the Department of Homeland Security is your tactical force, they're the yeah. ones that are executing that. That doesn't happen easily. I mean, you you have to make the argument. If well, and the only reason I say yeah. that is, if that was the case, then why don't we see them executing more search warrants? Yeah. So that um, so one, it was Department of Homeland Security special response team, which is like uh, the SWAT team for yeah. Department of Homeland Security. So um, you can request that if the facts dictate it, and that's what I go back to. Gotcha. I don't know if the facts they dictated that. Is that enough to get the evidence thrown out? Probably not. But what we're going to find, or what we, what I expect that we will find, is that the evidence that they found on the premises probably didn't meet what they said that they were going to find. Gotcha, gotcha, gotcha. And that's where that's where lawyers do their thing, right? It's like you ask for the hard drives. But then you took um, the cell phones or something like yeah, that. Yeah, have My, you seen like have you seen the destruction? Or I mean, and again, none of these search warrants are ever yeah. execu- uh, executed nicely, whether right. it's your vehicle or whether it's your home. But the footage has come out uh, how it's they they left his house and they I mean that's they, a forty million dollar mansion. They ransacked it, and that's the one in, in L.A. We haven't seen the footage from what Miami. what they did to the Miami uh, yeah. mansion. So My they, favorite version of this is what happened to director Ridley Scott, who apparently lives next door to P. Diddy. What happened? Uh, oh, no. He wasn't allowed to enter his premises, his home. Oh. So there's all these photos of Ridley Scott just standing outside his mansion. No! Yeah. No, I love it. I love it. You know, <laughs> I, I've actually had that with a client one time. They were... Um, they were in a, a bad mental state, yeah. and 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 SWAT team wouldn't let me talk to them and talk them down, and um and and so like I was sitting at the neighbor's house. I had this happen because they commandeering. Yeah, yeah. Oh. yeah so they kind of commandeering. Where where SWAT team was across the street, uh, executing like something. Somebody had called. And so, the SWAT team was there. I just go outside, drinking hand, seeing what's going on, <laughs> and the SWAT team's like, "Get back in the house!" And I'm like, "What? what why?" He's like, "You get." They will swear at you, and then I just uh, yes. watched from my window for about two How hours. How much well, better you, you that... look like an iffy kind of guy? I mean, you know, you walked out with a drink in your hand, yeah. Ryan. I was trying to help. How much funny <laughs> would it have been? Like, you know what'll calm this dude down? <laughs> Maybe drink. a little margarita. Literally. Um, yeah. How much funnier would that story have been if you got hit with like a beanbag gun and just like? 
All right, uh, if you need to get hold of Ray, got some street cred. if you need to get hold of Ray Trendley for any kind of family Tear law, up. it's uh, TK Law. It's onefirmforlife.com. That's onefirmforlife.com. Divorce, uh, um, uh, estate planning, any anything like that. Thank you for bringing in some, uh, you know, uh, some uh, rum, some uh, very strong rum, strong rum that on was whiskey good. day. I, I appreciate you guys and uh, you indulging me in all my craziness. Well, we appreciate you too, brother. Hot, we man. appreciate that. All right, listen, hey, listen. When we come back, we're doing raw calls. Here's a question. It's going to tie into what uh, Ray was talking about. Have you ever had a social media shocker where, like, you were going to court and, like, oh, my God, I found her cheating on the social media or or any kind of shocker? You know, you found something in social media that totally flipped you out. Have you ever found a social media shocker? Have you ever been given the shocker? And you can tell us about it when we come back, 407-916-1041. Remember, you can't curse. Don't be on speakerphone and make it so we can hear you. No noise in the background. But we'll take your calls right off the uh, right off the bend there, and uh, and we're not gonna you know we're not gonna uh, uh, talk to you first. We're just gonna as soon as you hear your name pop right up. Have you ever had a social media shocker? Tell us about that when we come back. You're listening to the Monsters of the Morning. Real radio is the news junkie. Something is coming back into popularity that has not been popular for a very long time. Sean Watson. What? <laughs> How dare you? My Daddy. popularity remains at an all-time high. Hi, Junkie. Weekdays at 11 on Real Radio 104.1. From the Goldsmith Jewelry Shop Traffic Center. Shop the best quality jewelry and lowest price. GoldsmithJewelry.com. On eastbound I-4, we remain bumper to bumper from John Young Parkway to just before Cayley Street. We still have hazmat activity from an earlier crash blocking the right lane. Northbound State Road 429 slows from Plant Street to south of West Road because of a crash in the right lane. Southbound Florida's Turnpike remains very slow into just before the Oakland Exchange, where there was a wreck on the right shoulder. And there's an accident southbound on East Lakeshore Boulevard, south of Remington Boulevard. To see traffic problems, call the Valvoline Instant Oil Change traffic tip line at 866-676-8477 from the Traffic Center. Daisy Ash. This report is sponsored by Wawa. Wawa's new built-to-order wraps are here. It's all the flavor you love, wrapped up and ready to move with your day. Try an Italian or bacon ranch chicken steak wrap today. Gotta have a Wawa. I'm going to tell you about Carl Black, Chevrolet, Buick, and GMC. Great people over there, and they want to send you and a friend on the road to Nashville, Tennessee for a fun-filled weekend. Uh, you get a, a pair of tickets to Outlaw Country singer Cody Jenks on April the 27th at the Amphitheater. Now, all you got to do is go to realradio.fm slash contest and register to win a pair of tickets. You also get you get uh, uh, tickets to go uh, the Lawn Seats, which is the Carl Black Silverado. You get to sit in the Silverado and watch the concert, which is awesome. Carl Black will provide round-trip airfare for two from Orlando to Nashville. Plus, they're going to put $200 of spending cash in your pocket. This is going to be a great time. You'll be able to stay at the beautiful beautiful Omni Hotel in Nashville. So log on to realradio.fm slash contest to uh, to try to win those tickets. See uh, Cody Jenks in Nashville. They always do it right. Carl Black Chevrolet Buick and GMC. I've been in Nashville with them several times. It's awesome. Carl Black Chevrolet Buick and GMC. Chevrolet, together let's drive to Carl Black Chevrolet Buick and GMC. Join us for our 2024 iHeartRadio Music Awards, live from the Jolby Theater in Hollywood. Monday, April 1st. Watch on Fox, starting at 8 p.m. And listen on the free iHeartRadio app. Tesla Apprentice Last is a proud partner of the iHeartRadio Music Awards, a celebration of artists and the fans who got them there. The fans who make the music truly come alive through their energy and positive vibes. To the fans that make live music possible, we salute you. Tax time means a much-needed cash bonus for many people. But for business owners, it can mean the opposite. Hey, this is R.C. Hill from R.C. Hill, Mitsubishi in land. My accountant said I need to reduce my tax burden now, so I'm going to overpay for your old car because I'd rather give you the money than the government. Get up to $4,297 more for your old car than it's actually worth. No matter where you bought the car, no matter how many miles are on it. It's simple. Trade in your old car you hate driving. And get a new car today like a Mitsubishi Mirage 43 miles per gallon lifetime warranty. That means most people can trade and lower their payment. Or let me double your tax refund up to $2,500. RC Hill Mitsubishi specializes in approving customers with below average credit scores. My goal this month is 100% credit approval. This month, my prices will not be beat. This sale ends when...
when my accountant says enough is enough. I'm R.C. Hill at R.C. Hill Mitsubishi, Central Florida's first choice for new Mitsubishis. Two locations, DeLand and now in Ocala. Or visit me at rchill.com. That's rchill.com. Credit requires bank approval. See rchill.com for details. Don't miss the spectacular spring edition of Harry's Sip and Savor, April 6th, 6.30 p.m. at Harry's Poolside Bar and Grill, located in the Rosen Center Hotel at 9840 International Drive. Enjoy an exclusive pairing event with mixology, culinary arts, spirits, brews, and a dazzling menu available one night only. Seating is limited, so don't delay. Get your tickets now, available at harryspoolside.com slash harry's sip and savor. My friends at Mills Air have been in business since 1992 right here in Central Florida. Over 30 years, they're not going anywhere. Carrier, factory authorized dealer, turn to the experts. Equipment changeouts and upgrades right now up to $1,275 in rebates. Go to millsair.com. $5,000. That's the average amount of money people in the U.S. are now spending on gas in a year. Five grand. That's crazy. If you drive, you have to download Upside, the free app that gives you cash back every time you get gas. That's right. You can earn real cash back with Upside just by buying the gas you're already buying. You can literally start earning cash back today. I use Upside every time I fill up, and I've already made around two, $300. You're putting gas in your car anyway. Why not get real cash back? If you like free money, download Upside. I'm saving the cash I earn from using Upside to help pay for a vacation later this year. Download the free Upside app now to earn cash back every time you buy gas. Use promo code COOL to get an extra 25 cents per gallon on your first tank. You can cash out anytime right to your bank, PayPal, or a gift card for Amazon and other brands. Just download the free Upside app and use promo code COOL for a 25 cents per gallon bonus on your first tank. That's code COOL for a 25 cents per gallon bonus. My wife and I both, we ended up mildly sick for a few months and the nasal congestion was probably the worst part. I had like a post-nasal drip, just super congested all the time. We were taking everything we possibly could, but nothing really worked. Kyrie was miserable until a friend recommended Navage. Navage offers immediate drug-free congestion relief, flushing your nasal passages with refreshing saline and sucking out mucus, germs, and other airborne irritants. Don't live in misery this cold season. Use Navage so you can breathe easier sleep better and feel your best right away the biggest thing navage has done has completely cleaned out my nasal passages it, it was from the first use i was able to just clear out anything that was stopping me from breathing correctly navage helps me clear the way literally clear the way for me to operate better in the rest of my life experience the navage difference yourself navage is available at navage.com or at walmart walgreens cvs and rite aid navage nav A-G-E. Hi there. I'm Mia. I'm Air. You're Air? Yeah. I just got out of the lungs of someone smoking a cheap little cigar outside a bodega. Oh, it was so smoky in there. And where there's smoke, there's Fire. cancer. Oh. Yeah. Little cigars might taste sweet, but they still kill. I'm supposed to be helping people, not unhelping them. You mean hurting. Oh, yeah. Sorry. I'm a bit of an airhead. Little cigars are just as dangerous as regular cigarettes. Find out how to quit today at TobaccoFreeFlorida.com. It's draft season. The 2024 NFL Draft is right around the corner, and the Move the Six podcast has you covered for all your draft needs. The show is hosted by me, Daniel Jeremiah, and my partner, Bucky Brooks. When it comes to Detroit and the draft, Move the Sticks is the podcast that will answer all your questions. Which quarterbacks are going in the first round? Don't worry. Tune in, and you'll be ready to watch the draft like a scout. Subscribe now and listen to the Move the Sticks podcast on the iHeartRadio app or wherever you get your podcasts. Tell you about uh, getting your house clean for spring. Spring cleaning, right? Uh, you might need a lot of it yourself, but when it comes to the floors and the tile and the grout and the carpeting, you need to let Zero Res do it for a couple different reasons. One, they're great sponsors. They support us, and we love to support them. That's what keeps us on the air, right? That's what keeps us moving, keeps the thing going around here. But uh, another reason you want to use Zero Res is because they use a patented ZR water that is awesome, and it does not leave a sticky, soapy chemical residue left behind. 
So it dries you know, much faster, and it's safer for kids and for pets. We just got a new pet, and that's why we were definitely wanted to go with uh, with Zero Res. They bring their own ZR water with them. They don't use your water, and they do an incredible job. Mention my name. Say Russ Rollins or the Monsters. You'll get 20% off the tile and the grout cleaning. Do the grout cleaning for sure because that really makes it snap. It really makes it look really, really good. Uh, carpet cleaning, $49 per room when you go with Zero Res. So go online to OrlandoZeroRes.com. That's OrlandoZeroRes.com. Zero Res spelled forwards or backwards. It's the right way to clean. Think orange for your next vehicle. OrangeBuickGMC.com. We are professional grade. <laughs> 